Hey everybody, welcome to the show. We'll be kicking this off here in a couple minutes. Don't worry about the timer on the upper left-hand side. We'll be doing a little maintenance and kicking those tech gremlins in the teeth. If you've been to a cyberpunk show, you know this is adult. And adult means not for children. And if you don't know what a child is, you probably should click the X in the upper right hand or left hand side of your computer, depending on what computer you're on. Uh, but all jokes aside, thank you for joining us tonight. This is going to be another fun filled cyberpunk. This is episode three, a new job. And for those who don't know, our last group, well, I shouldn't say last group, our last session, our group worked for a man that decided to go through a shotgun divorce. It went real well. If you missed it, go back and watch it. Uh, the audio is great. The video didn't match up. Consider it a glitch in the system. They're not even edge runners yet. I really blame Matt's computer. We'll see you all here in about five minutes as we get started with the show. Hey everybody, welcome to Detroit City. This is 106.5 The Lead Show. Tonight we've got a report of recent deaths of two gang members. Uh, it sounds like it was some form of hostile disturbance. The police have been sent in, but no one knows if there's any survivor yet. Please stay tuned to 106.5 for more information. If you do see a maelstrom in your neighborhood, shut the windows, check your doors, hide your wives, because there's a good chance it's the purge. We'll see you here in about three minutes as the show begins.
Well, hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. How are you all doing tonight? You know the rule. It's showtime. We don't need these anymore. Uh, it has been a wild week of me repairing our lovely overlays, but I think maybe, just fucking maybe, we've got it figured out. Last time we played, uh, our group decided to do their very first kind of edge run mission, working for a member of a local motorcycle club. And they did not understand that it was to serve divorce papers in the form that only Detroit can give you a hot lead on a shotgun. Um, everything went sideways really quick. They hijacked a semi to bring it in. Uh, some fancy driving, no player deaths, a lot of dead Maelstrom and Iron Lung members. And we fast forward a couple weeks into our group recuperating after the combat uh, for what is going to be possibly their first job with a fixture as as actual edge runners for those who don't know edge runners are like shadow runners just in cyberpunk for the people who do things kind of on the outside of the law and society the the illegal things that you know really make the city work uh so tonight we're going to be picking up in a scene that is dealing with trench the gentleman who is still pretty wounded uh, he has been shot up and banged up during the divorce trial. Um, he was also shot up during taking the semi over as he was jumping in the window. I think the rest of the team, if I'm correct, their player characters are all healthy. Is that right? Is everybody player? All player characters are healthy. Okay, that was that was the worry. <laughs> BB, BB may not, because I I know what I wanted to get with Cyber. Uh oh, Man. what are you trying to get? Um, if, if the group is okay with it, I don't know if we're live or not, but if the group yeah, is okay we are. with it, I don't know if, like, I'm on screen. Yeah, um, everyone I is. Would like, I would like to, um, take advantage of Zobo's used cyberware ice cream truck and get some internal body cyberware hardened shielding. Well, I would like to say, one, it's not used cyberware. Well, <laughs> just, you know. It's requisition cyberware. Requisition. <laughs> Used is such a negative term. Hey, look what hit. Uh, uh, the lens flew all the way up underneath my foot uh, from my glasses. I just stepped down. I was like, what's that? <laughs> um, but yeah, if you want to you wanna buy something from Zobo, I even have a fun uh, Ripper Dock basement scene for him. Excellent. Because, you know. It's episode, it's episode three. Let's why would you not have a nice Ripper Dock uh, basement for everybody? This is the Ripper Dock area. What's yes. that? Is that how that is that? Are we that getting goes? matching cyberware? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> not, not what I was expecting. Uh, I have art for this. Let me let me update this with some art for you. Yes, for those who don't remember, Zobo is uh, one of the bozos. That's an actual gang in cyberpunk. He is an actual full-fledged clown if you've got the card in your stream loot deck you've seen what he looks like but he's dressed a little better now he technically was a medic during two of the corpo wars he technically does know how to do cyberware stuff he's really good at it it just so happens his ice cream truck is how he transports the bodies that all of the ripperware um, come, come comes from So what are you, you looking know, to? What are you looking to buy? Uh, Blitz bitch doesn't really care where it comes from as long as it works. I am looking to purchase fair, something from the fair. Black Chromebook. Oh no! And that is oh no! Well, it's it's on page. It's actually it's pretty neutral. It's on page twenty. It's the internal body cyberware hardened shielding. Hardened shielding. Okay. Oh, that gives it's, you the extra uh, bonuses when people try to quick hack you. You know all the well, bullshit you do to everybody. Actually, no, it prevents your internal cyberware from being taken out by EMP. Oh, is it expensive? It's a thousand EVs. Okay, a well, thousand Eddie's, Eddie's. Eddie's. Uh, he, uh, so if you, have you been to Zobo before? That's probably the first question. Um, let me take a look at my, uh, you know what? Like, is he, is he a, is he a Ripper Doc that you have visited in the past? I think so because i think like when bb was younger she definitely she grew up with her neuroport and she had like some 
rudimentary hacking, but like when she actually wanted to go out there and start doing stuff, like I think when she was traveling with the nomads, sure. she may have run across him and said like, hey, hook me up with interface plugs. Okay, so you've seen Zell before. So like when he first came to Detroit after leaving Night City, um, you have seen him before. You, you know a few things about him. Uh, he's a huge heavy metal fan. Um, he has tattoos all over his chest. When he works, he only wears overalls. Okay. You can see he's decked out cyberware pretty much head to toe. Um, he is very a very kind Ripper Doc, but but uh, his wall is covered in tour posters from Fenrir. Okay. And and. He has random jars of candy, but in those jars, there's always things like teeth in them or a chip from somebody or mementos, you might say. Okay. In there. So when you come to see him at his, at his station, um, I will pull it up on screen here. It's a nice kind of corner office area. And uh, Zobo has got the big red nose. Um, his eye, his two arms don't match in style when he kind of rolls up um, some sleeves. He's got, he's fully dressed. He's like, well, I don't need to get in a, a full mechanics outfit for this. This is a very simple thing to install. Don't you worry whatsoever. Honk, honk. And he honks <laughs> his nose. Uh, and so sit down in the chair. We'll see what we can do for you. How many people came with you to get work done? I actually don't know. Like, I think BB was just like, hey, I'm going to go see Zobo while he's here. You came to I... watch? Oh. <laughs> You're very <laughs> quiet, Diane. Yeah, you are pretty we quiet. The mic towards us. Uh, let me jack you up. Uh, and, I and... would like to film the surgeries, please. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a, a personal choice for them if they're down for that and Zobo was like Zobo was like they don't even have to worry about nothing I was on a, a call where in a flying plane we did heart surgery it was quite amazing That's fought ninjas that day I, too every story he has sounds so over the top you know what though BB's youngish and she sure. probably was able to verify some of it through my yeah. researches um, so why not see the best when you can, right? Right, 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 right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, he's like, all right, well, let me get you that. Uh, you want the EMP thing? He goes over, he opens up a box and pulls a head out and looks at it. And he rolls it around. He's like, yep, that's the one. And he pulls up. You see there's like a tag hanging off of it that says DOA. And he puts okay. it back in the cooler and pulls out the chip. He cleans it really well. He's like, are any of the other ones that you getting work done? Or is it just going to be the one? Just BB? I'm sorry, I can't hear you, lady. You are super quiet. I'm looking through your catalog right now. Oh, yeah, sure. And he slides an AR over to you. He's like, uh, I don't have any J-pop stuff right now that's oh. really good. I do have a K-pop yeah. cyber ham with a built-in uh, trinket holder. They used to use it for a microphone. What? Yeah. Hold on. He walks over and he pulls like half a body out of cold storage. And you see him and dis detach the hand and he hands it to you to look at. It's bright pink. Chrome. Oh, really? Yes. How much? Well, I mean, installed cyber hands can be a little finicky. You don't have really much cyberware on you, so we'd have to amputate the hand you have. Reconnect uh, the neural port links and make sure you're good to go. I'd say I could do it for Maybe like a thousand for you. I turn to BB. Honk, honk. Should I? Should I mean, I you never know when uh, Zobo's going to have time in his schedule. That is true. I am a very busy, very busy clown. Are you there? No. No, he's like, fuck. Up. No, I am not there. <laughs> <laughs> not going to some hack job. Drink, are you gonna get something? Can I get something that like pops out of my arm and like shoots someone in the face? Or <laughs> like a or, gun? Or maybe just like a little I don't know what Spider this is, but I want Anna. something that just 
kill somebody when I what? <laughs> Where, well, I'm not sure exactly what you are asking for. Are you looking for like a shotgun in your shotgun? arm? A laser? Yeah, I think a, ooh, a shotgun would be awesome. Well, he like looks around. You know, I do. Um, it is a woman's arm, though. Oh, I'm scary. Oh, okay. Uh, he gets it. He pulls it out. It's got bright purple metal fingernails. Oh, oh purple doesn't go with my complex. You know, I can fine. paint. I, we can repaint them if you really need a different color. Like you can even do that. You take it to any car shop and they can repaint your hand. As he's like <laughs> sliding in the EMP and getting BB ready. He's talking while he's doing it. You see all the needles come out of his hand and just start mm -hmm. working. Uh, just lay back. No pain. It'll be fine. He's like, but if you set it on the desk over there, uh, it'll weigh the scrap arm for uh, weight and value. Now over there, there's a scale. You'll see it on the side. Yeah, yeah, set it over there. It's like okay. grocery shopping. Awesome. <laughs> you set it down. Whatever yeah. the price is for a shotgun arm, which is Where's in the, the game. Okay, I scroll through it. It's a imp it's, it's an integrated thousand. weapon with a cyber arm. Um, he can do it for you. And then I guess do I need to get the arm too? You would need an arm as well. We have two Zobo how much, discounts. How much is the arm? I can't find it. <laughs> Just under please. cyber arms. Get rid of the arm, yeah. This is, it's under cyber arms. Hold on here. I don't have the core book pulled open right now. I only have the one uh, for the night show. Core book. <laughs> so an actual cyber arm. What could go wrong with getting a hack job cyber arm? Cyber limbs foundational. A cyber arm in and of itself is 500 eddies. Oh, that's not bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah. I'll go and ahead and And then do that after that, then you would get the add-ons put in. Well, so five. So it was five hundred. Let's write this down here. How many Eddies was it? Five hundred for his arm, right? Five hundred for the arm. And how much is it for the gun? Thousand. A thousand for the integrated arm. And so five hundred for what is a hand? Is it less than an arm? Because it used to be. Um, a standard hand is a hundred. All right, a hundred. But well, hers is special. Arm, yeah, but so yeah, so the cyber arm comes with the standard hand, or you can just. Oh, I meant for her. Hand. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Hand. You know, it's like a small tattoo. She's just getting a little bit of work done. There's a little bit of work done. That's pink chrome. Yeah, it's pink chrome. Now, here's the problem, everybody. Okay. We need to talk humanity loss. Oh, shit. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. great. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't care about that. Well, you will. How Did much is it? it for the arm and the weapon, Kelly, since you have it open? So, the arm itself is 2d6. Okay, 2d6. We'll get to that unless in a you, sec. Unless you want to take the average. Nope, can't, it. Nope, Roll can't it. do it. Average is only for when you start the game. Okay. So then 2d6 for that, and mm -hmm. then the pop-up ranged weapon is another 2d6. Okay, and then what is it for her hand? Is it one? The hand is a 1d6 divided by two rounded up. All right, so we bad. have... No, yeah, whatever. Uh, so we and have a few cards. Is, is and it your right my your internal hand? body cyberware shielding is um, 4d6. 4d6, that's a big yes. one. Uh, so that's a big neuro implant. Um, what was the price on yours, Kelly? A thousand. All right, a thousand as well. So, let's talk Zobo cards, everybody. Zobo's <laughs> cards. Zobo discount. 300 eddies. We have two of them. You can take it, Matt. You're getting a lot of work done. Well, yeah, yours only costs 100. So, yeah, you get one for Kelly and one for Matt. So, take 300 off your costs. Hell yeah. We also have, if I remember correctly, a humanity card to lower... How bad it's gonna be <laughs> for humanity loss. I think it's the high res. No, there's one it's card. Crash milk. Crash milk, crash milk. The crash milk Thank card. You. Thank you. Use it for Kelly. I don't want it. Crash milk. We have one, <laughs> two, three. We have four crash milks, everyone. Uh, crash milk crash. is pretty awesome. Um, reduce the humanity loss of cyber surgery by one. It's not a lot. It's not a lot, but it's a lot. It can help. But it's Gosh, one it's per great. install. So Kelly, you're getting an install. So BB gets one from Serving Hands. Uh, Kelly gives one to Matt. Serving Hands uh -huh. gives one to Matt. And Ooh. Kelly gives one <laughs> and Kelly gives one to uh, Diana for her hand surgery. So that everyone will get one less. Now here's one the less. fun part. The audience rolls your humanity loss. Yeah. Hey. Okay, that's fair. So we'll do Kelly's last um, as he gets her going and it's going through the process. He 
pulls out a lawn chair and sets Matt in it. Oh, Matt's Here you go, me. String. Lay down. Let me get you going. And you, you see the saw the come out. <laughs> you want the hand and or the arm and the shotgun in place. Don't you worry. Yep. All right. Uh, put your arm out, please. Uh, you see, and he puts a bunch of like, whichever one you would like. I can move the thumb. Awesome. Uh, as he starts uh, injecting you with with a, a solution to stop the pain and immediately amputate your arm off. And he throws Holy it. shit, this is good drugs. In a, in a cooler, <laughs> and it starts stitching the nerves together, and he gets the arm lined up, and it slides it in place, and it, like, holds two things together, and needles come down and start doing work. He's like, you'll be fine. It's an automation. Arms are every day. And he turns to her and goes, I'm out of tables. You're going to have to stand for the hand loss. That's okay. All right, come on over here. We'll use the, uh, <laughs> we'll use the, uh, he moves like a uh, uh, crash milk and and uh, a reject sandwich shop and moves his food out of the way and like wipes it off with his handkerchief and tucks it back in his pocket. Put your hand right here. It'll be just fine. Okay. All right. Oh, hold on. He goes and finds a wire clamp, comes down or a pipe clamp, puts it on a table and rivets your hand down underneath. The fucking pipe holder, so you can't move. You can't move, right? No. Excellent, uh. excellent. And cuts off the hand. Um, <laughs> and starts putting it back in. With that, we'll start with the hand loss. The hand loss is a D6 divided by two. So what was our first uh, D6? Are we not getting dice rolls? Are they not working? We're not everybody? getting dice rolls right now. Not yet. Through. Not yet. They're not working. We don't need them. Oh. Let me try this. Just lie, guys. Let me try this. See if I can force a roll. We're having one of them nights where everything is working but stream elements. Is that how this is going to go, everyone? Yes. Mm, little bastard that could. I trust you. Yep, I'm not seeing a roll. No, I literally set this up so we can roll. No. Uh, hold on here. Hold on here. I refuse to let this be how it goes down. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna fix something. We're gonna do something here that may or may not break the entire stream. Hello Kitty. What could go wrong? No. I'm gonna I know, I see Star Drew, I see. We're going to do a little cheesy thing that I can do in the background and reboot the plugin for the bot. I'll fix everything else, and now Stream Elements wants to do me wrong. Character. No. My main, this is my main wig, guys. This is your main, not your off wig? <laughs> yeah. All right, I have it muted. We are going to try to turn the moderation activity on and off to recall the bot to the screen. Uh, let's see what we get here. Yep, one, D, six. Okay, if it breaks, I mean, it's like the Excel program that you break every time we talk. Um, I am not even seeing the bot in chat. Why? Because it oh, oh. hates us. I know what I want to claim, Eric. I just saw it. Sorry, serving hands. Oh, no. What is it? DLC Hyperchrome. What's that? Uh. Read it for the audience, Kelly. Custom tailored chrome. Reduce humanity loss by 1d6 or 1 half. I don't like I that. I just saw Serving Hands play it. I wasn't going to mention anything until afterwards and have him go, you know, I could have done this a little better, I think. <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't see anything going on with the stream where the bot would be a problem. It, it has everyone in the chat. The chat's live. It's just stream elements being stream elements tonight, boys and girls. Uh, I apologize. Oh! <gasps> Should I trust you? I, I don't dislike the cop ruling the humanity loss for all the people. I think that's not a bad <laughs> idea, Adam. <laughs> all right, Adam, we're going to do it with you since it's not working. I don't know what's going on with the dice rolls. We're going to start with Diana because she's sitting there. 1d6 okay. halved minus 1. 1d6 half. 
Yep, round oh, up. Two, half of that is one. She get oh. one humanity loss. So I have 32 humanity. All right. Well, he's like, this should be pretty good. It'll take a few moments for it to get back into uh, uh, the proper shape to be functioning for you. Uh, I just want to remind you that you may have some odd uh, yeah. issues with things like stra scratching yourself or uh, working your hand in odd ways. If you get my drift, be very careful. It can be very strong. You don't want to fuck any of them tender parts up. Next person. Odd way. Like, like sexually. Yeah, little pink princess. That's exactly what I mean. Okay. And he honks your nose that time. Honk, honk. And he goes to the next person. Uh, this would be Matt's. Ooh, how many is this? Eight, eight D4s? No, D6s. It's not D4s. Uh, it is two D6 for the first one for his arm. Two D6. Two D6. Add them together, Ooh. minus one. Ooh, that's eight. <laughs> With the minus one? Yeah. All right, that's eight. Minus eight. Oh, no, low. minus one is seven. Seven. Seven, he seven humanity points. lost. Seven humanity okay. lost. Okay. Good. Okay. All right. And then he's like, oh, ooh, that harm. I told you we should have went with a male model versus a female model. Sometimes there's some muscle and tendon connections that just Wait, don't. you told me I should have gone with the male. There was an option for the male? <laughs> oh, yeah, so it's like, it a little more expensive, little though. It's it's a, it's a higher grade Arasaka technology. You're talking about 8K. Something that can make me taller. To make you taller? What? Never mind. Well, I'll next time. Next time. No, I can make you shorter. Oh, that's just what I need. Thank well, you. Well, short kings are popular in certain districts. Uh, let's get the hand ready. And he sets the hand up to attach. Okay, Adam, give me the roll for hand loss. It's a d6, right? 2d6. 2d6. Oh, well, it's 2d6 for, for the cyber arm, and then it's 2d6 for the gun. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Now for the gun, 2d6. Okay. Minus Four. one, minus one. Three. Three? Well, that took a lot better. This was definitely a better implant than what the other one was. I I apologize that uh, the first part went so poorly. You know what? I'll give you a free tune-up next time you have a cybernetic problem. You come in and I'll look you over and get you a prognosis on uh, what trash you have stuck somewhere. Is he like wipe something off of you? <laughs> awesome. Don't you worry. Thank, Don't thank you for the free tuna. This is the nicest thing I've ever gotten. Yeah, you're welcome. Sometimes everyone needs a helping hand. All right, you should be good. He gets you out of the chair. Uh, same thing to you. If you do any locomotion, stroke of motion, be very careful the first 24 hours. I would like to reach over and honk his nose. Yes. Hey, you honked it right. The grenade didn't go off. All right, oh, so. <laughs> he walks over to BB. He's like, well, this was a pretty big process. I feel like you're doing okay. Can I get 4D6, Adam? Ooh, dang. Hallie, minus, what is you're minus, again? One. minus one. No, okay. no, I, the minus oh. one's at the end because you use hyperchrome. Yeah. So we'll do that at the end. Well, no, okay. if, you're, if we're doing the crash milk. Oh, that's right. You're doing a crash milk. I apologize. Do you want a crash okay, milk wait, wait. and hyperchrome? Yes. Okay. Because so I take that back. Potential. That's 3D6, not 4D6, right? Because it takes a die off, Kelly? Or is it just uh, half hyperchrome, it? Hyperchrome is 1D6 or half. Oh, uh, I would do the half. It's probably going to be better. Because okay. <laughs> it's 4D6. Like, right. 4D6. Which would, okay, so I, would take, I would take half of it versus taking yeah. a die off. Okay. All right, so, so we're what's your 46 half? half? Yeah. Uh, five. Minus one. Minus one, four. Wow. And when he wakes you back up, he goes, I got to say, little missy, you 100% took an EMP uh, uh, interface better than any of the people I saw during the Corporal Wars. It's like your body is built for tech. Have you ever thought about being a cyber zombie? Or a full I thought, Borg? I could get I you a full sleeve and like... Doo -doo -doo. That guy's dying in like 30 days. The thought has crossed my mind. Let me build up some some eddies. Full sleeve. Full sleeve. Whole thing. Borging it out to the end. They make them. Arasaka makes some good ones. But he's been recording it the whole time. He's like, shit. Did we opt in for the recording? Oh, it was happening. Hey, man, can you uh, knock out the guy will be dead in 30 days part? Don't put that out or I will throw my nose at you. 
Don't tell me what to do. I could force you instead if that would make it easier. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. All right. Good. I'm glad we're on the same page. I hate to have to be six foot five and you turn into a short dead king. <laughs> <laughs> he, would, he would change my legs to make me shorter for the funeral. <laughs> yes. Have a great time. I hope you enjoy your appendages, your new, uh, well, you know. Again, if you want to come back any work, I got a lot of experimental stuff on the way. Two ice cream trucks delivering a ton of new supplies. I make note of this. Like, I put it in my calendar and my agent. All right, 30 days from now, I'll see you back, BB. Uh, again, be careful around anything like microwaves. Uh, if you're in any supermarkets, watch out for anyone using anything in there. You may get some interference and feedback for the first 24 hours. So here's some drugs to take. And, like, needles come out of his finger and he stabs you and gives you your drugs. Uh, this will help with any um, recalibration, mental distraughtness, seeing triple or quadruple, nosebleeds, any form of mouth drool, and sometimes uh, cotton butt, which is the worst. What? Cotton butt? Oh, you don't I had that back man. in 2073. <laughs> you don't ever want cotton <laughs> butt. You ever had your ass shingle so dry that when you drag across the couch, it feels like your skin's going to pull you back onto the couch? Because you're stuck, like hook, line, and sinker. Oh. It's like dry skin like none other. I don't know why it affects the rear, but it does. Uh, I don't make the rules. I just put That's it in. Good. That's good to know. Yeah, yeah, you should be fine, though. Really no drugs. Just take this one pill, you should be fine. And uh, honestly, it looks like the short king's been through the ringer. I don't think there's any disease that's going to kill him by the end of the day, so we'll be good. Um, that'll be a total of, yeah, you're welcome, 500, 1,500, so 1,600, uh, 2,600 minus the, the Zobo discount. I see you brought those clippings in. Uh, that's 2,000 between the three of you on your first group 4A into cyberware. I, I hope that I did you good. I liked it. I feel great. Excellent. Will you get out and uh, grab a popsicle on the way? Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. Hell yeah. Oh. When you open the cooler, there's like boxes. One says like heart, liver. And then there's like a box of like push up frozen pops next to it. Yes. What do you think the liver tastes in green? No, those are like organs, but yeah, sure. <laughs> I'll take the popsicle. So he, uh, he lets you out and uh, he waves as you're leaving. He turns around, he answers a call, and his voice changes dramatically into something way happier. I can be there at your kid's day in no time. <laughs> wow. Hey. How, how much mine was? You said uh, 100? Uh, so it was 100 for yours. Yep. Yeah. Thank you. Awesome. Super cheap. So you got, here's the bonus for the pink one. Uh, it gives you a plus one to your... Um, what is it called? Not cool. The look, your style. What is it called? What's the skill? Uh, wardrobe. Wardrobe. wardrobe style. Uh, you get a plus one to your wardrobe and style if your hand is visible. Along the bottom, uh, like backside edge, it has little ring hooks to put trinkets on them. Ooh. Like, it almost be like a Tiffany's charm, charm hand. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, like little pieces <laughs> and go on it. It's like a crock for your hand, right? Um, and then the fingernails, can, the colors can be changed to any chromatic spectrum that you want. Ew. Uh, and it has a built-in microphone. Your hand, all the fingers Ooh. turn into a microphone and you have a built-in microphone. Thank you. And you can use it for whatever you want. You will need an audio source to dial the music to, so have that be something you plug into or through AR or if, if BB hook plugs you into something, it does all that shit. Plug into me. Yeah, yeah, I could do that as well. What could go wrong with that? Um, with that said, uh, nothing special for the other two. The one is a shotgun hand. It is a female arm. It does have bright, bright, uh, matte purple metal fingernails on the end. Uh, it's a very lithe, slender hand and arm. Uh, and the cyber shotgun is a traditional cyber shotgun. Nothing special with the black chrome one. The fact that he had it in stock was a roll. Uh, and he's like, yeah, I, I got one of those. Uh, it's still, though, once in a while, when you do your boot up bios, it says the name of a person and it just says 404 incomplete. Got it. Got it. Hey, Rev. Yeah. Uh, is the lady's hand bigger than mine? Uh, let me see. 
And she grabbed her hand. <laughs> Dad, maybe it was a big woman. It's okay. No one's gonna stare at both your hands. Except all right, all right, that's enough. That's enough. Stop. That, that, that's I, I lower my sleeve. That's enough. Thank you. It looks Thank really you. good. All right, that's you enough. Should... Thank you. Thank you, Rambo. Listen, it's bigger because you've got a shotgun in there. Yeah. That's you okay. need a big Thank man you. to hold a big Thank gun. You. I mean, according to Buzz 106.5, <laughs> the lead show, anything that throws lead should be larger. This yeah, that's a good point. Big mm -hmm. guns, big yeah. hands, mm -hmm. big other things. <laughs> Meanwhile, I would have to ask what Calvary has been doing while these two are off and or three are off getting surgery. Uh, are you setting up the meeting with Trench doing actual work? <laughs> yes. Yes, I okay. would. <laughs> okay. Where would you like to have the meeting? He will not um, have it in your cop car no matter how many times you ask. No, no, I, I wouldn't do that. And again, because that that whole that whole part of my life is very secret. Mm hmm He knows about it. Pick up your secret secret shirt. Um mm -hmm. <laughs> sorry. Well, um, dice rolls aren't I'm... working. The dice bot's not here at all. It's not even pulling up the the uh, commands that I'm putting in for stream elements for like merch and shit. So it definitely stream elements is down. So um, where would you like to set it up at? Oh, you know, like a cafe somewhere? Or are you doing yeah. a, a cafe? I'm gonna say cafe. I'm not gonna do it at my place because that ain't gonna look good. I'll tell you what. Having, having we have his, his 100 percent a diner. Yes. I literally I made a diner for it. I, I found a good one. Uh, we'll get. Uh, where would you like to sit? You can put yourself. I will put Trench in the scene as well for you. Now let's get Trench here in game. Let's, uh, let's st stick in the, in the in the back corner. Okay. I'm gonna sit here so I can see everything. Okay. Let me add her. And we'll add a drone in the room as well. All right. The place is pretty full. Are you going middle of the day at night? Where, where, what, where would you like to? When would you like to meet him? And then obviously the team said they would be here. They're running late. Of course, they just had cyber surgery. <laughs> um. Uh, day, daytime surgery. I was fi uh, figuring for some dinner. Okay. Um, I know after surgery, it, you know, it's, it's going to make them hungry. Probably one of them will be cranky. Somebody will be okay. cranky. Okay. So uh, if everyone else wants to show up, uh, I will put your characters on the outside edge that you can kind of bring them in. It'll be on the bottom side. Um, where's the door at? That's a really good question. Here it is. I'll put you guys next to the door on the left for when uh, you get there. Uh, boop. Come on, put Diana's character down. Today, today, today. There you go. And then Blitz. There we go. So uh, Trench shows up. Uh, he's uh, about five minutes late. Uh, he's pretty bandaged up. He's got a lot of cyberware uh, repair pieces on, like trying to fix things up. Uh, his cyber skull has been repainted from the bright chrome that he has to a matte black. Um, his eyes, instead of being the deep red that they normally are, they look like blue teardrops right now. Um, it's been two weeks since you saw him. Uh, he kind of slumps into the seat. Hey, how you doing, Calvary? And he kind of slides over. He's like, Cook coffee, please. I'm um, good. In a couple of weeks, he's still looking like hell. I'll be honest, I've had better days, better weeks, months. Maybe a better life at some point. Yeah, it's been a rough life right now. How are you? Um, I'm fine. Just been out on the uh, on the beat per usual and uh, seeing if I could gather up any other information the past couple of weeks on whatever else part of that deal that was going down, uh, especially between, you know, here in Canada. Well, um, there's been a little change of pace. Uh... The club is going through a restructure. I sent the men that were still loyal to me back to Night City. Um, I'm going to build a new crew here. Your buddy, String, I think is what his handle is, keeps asking me to be my lieutenant. I've said no like half a dozen times in the last two weeks. 
Um, you don't submit resumes on cardboard. He does know that, right? Well, I'm, I'm sure he does know that. Like, there's really not a resume for this job, part two. Yeah, like, he's, he's, he's a man of the streets. Right. Cool. Um, I, um, I brought, I don't, I don't know why you may pick this place, and he, like, eyes the bartender, he's like, this is Maelstrom territory, and the job I gotta talk to you about is about the Maelstrom. Oh, that's perfect. They Not really. Can, you know, and he, like, points to the person at the bar serving shit to all the other people. Does that yeah. look like someone who might be Maelstrom? Maybe, but, uh, you know, there was, there, there was actually this, uh, this movie that I watched an old movie one time you know like movies it was, it was like this little dude this little guy and he's a uh, he just he 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 told his friend he goes you know you know the closer we are to danger the farther we are from harm so who the hell said that i don't know it was it had something to do with like a jewelry they had to throw it in like a mountain or something i don't i don't really recall what that was <laughs> Is there a point behind this abstract I'm, tale I'm, you're trying to use i'm just saying you're sitting there telling us about the job in maelstrom territory Where's your friends at? Keep my eyeballs open because maybe somebody will be walking in. My uh, friends might be walking in soon as well. I would uh, like to be that friend. Oh no. Okay. The Patriots. Okay. Moving myself in. This place is packed. Uh, the only booth that is open is the one that they have in the corner. <laughs> There's one seat at the bar that is available at the very end. No one sits there. It's cold out. Um, so people tend to not sit in this space because the breeze from the door. All the other ones are filled. You sit down next to a guy. Uh, he's small. He's in like a, a, a white button up. He's got his tie undone. He turns and looks at you. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to be uh, in your seat. And he takes his foot like off of your, your the pole across the bottom. He's like, I'm just stretching out. My leg hurts very bad from being cramped in a cubicle for the last 72 hours. Oh. Well, what do you do, good sir? Oh, I'm... You know, I'm a, kind of a leader of a gang now. I uh, don't know if you guys know this. It started. You're a gang Lieutenant, member. Really, I'm about to, and he like yeah. looks you over once or twice. <laughs> just like does not look like. Does I look like a member like at all? Member. As soon Smells as I like hear this. him say like I'm like a gang leader, I'm like you know I just swerve. Like I was calling him, and I'm just like keep walking, and I swerve all the way. Yep. <laughs> yep. Not with this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> not with him. I don't know who that is. He goes, well, really? Oh, that's what wonderful to hear. Do you have, um, are you doing good for the community? I have heard that some gangs have outreach programs where they help the. Uh, have I noticed the Maelstrom? Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. She she's uh, making her way over right now to like offer. Like, has, well, what do you want? Has she like, when I mentioned that, that she like perked up or anything like that? No, she doesn't give a fuck. Okay, Everyone in this good, bar is probably good. in a gang. That's the only reason I haven't mentioned it. Okay, cool. Yeah, we're just trying to like get some low level work, hopefully with Maelstrom, and I kind of lean over. It's like, oh my god, you have beautiful eyes to the surfer. To the woman, she looks at you and she goes, <laughs> with "The red eyes." That's real adorable. Um, what do you want to eat and oh, drink? Like and she slides some, the AR menu to you. Uh, let's see. I would like some sort of almond uh, chocolate milk. Uh, <laughs> she's she's immediately like oh. whoa hold on and she slides you the kids menu perfect <laughs> I will have the sticky chicken fingers uh, obviously the chicken uh, fingers mm -hmm, mm -hmm. two tofurkey chicken fingers uh, oh, shit milk shit milk oh. just like mom used to milk what oh, else so do you want that's it that's of course. It. Thank you. Of course. So you have to pay up front for your meal. Sure. I pay up front. Uh huh. Oh. And then I like to walk straight. Once I get my food, I like to walk straight to Trench oh, and Calvary. And just sit down and pull up a chair and sit down at the end of the booth. So there's like a guy sitting here eating at the table. Um, there's a guy, you know, two there, two there. There is one where it's like a person <laughs> and their stuff is on the other chair, but every other seat is taken. Is BB and Rev gonna oh, sit down okay. in the booth? Um, yeah. All right, I'll slide you in. BB, 
Yeah, I was gonna let Rev sit next to her best friend. Oh, BFF. oh, here, there we go. No, 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 no I'll thought, fix it. No, I already no, got. It. I thought no, I meant Rev was sitting next to Captain Trench. Oh, you gave her that's true. Number. That's true. She did. Oh, therapist oh, okay, number. Yeah, yeah. I, I have something ready for that. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, so where are you gonna get a chair? Uh, or are you gonna stand? You know what? Because I like the idea of standing better. Just, it's just, just like walking over to standing. Hey, El Capitan. It's good. I saw your therapist. Uh, they told me that killing this man would be wrong. Which man? The one at the end of the bar that's applied for a position that isn't open like a dozen times. Oh, I would like to look over at the guy that had his foot up at the stool. I was like, I don't know, he's a nice guy. What? No. I think he's talking about oh, you. Oh my God. Dead. What? I'm his lieutenant. Why would he give me... As I'm, like, putting on my mirror shades and, like, totally, like, blocking it from my view. <laughs> Look, let's talk. Let's get down to, to, to like, brass shells here, okay? We need we need to talk about a job, uh, not about that job. As he points to a string, he's like, I sent all of my club members back to Night City. I have a few new ones that I'm in the middle of the recruiting process and training, but the Maelstrom are making it very difficult uh, to recruit new members. Every time I try, they either recruit them or kill them, and it's not been good. Now, no. I know Maelstrom has numerous groups Should within their set of eyes, but a specific one that I'm dealing with has... Um, fucked up one of my supply chains locally. Hey, each 2K to help me make this wrong or right. Shit, I get a matching lady's arm to go with. Jesus Christ, what the fuck did you do to yourself? Did you find that in the garbage? It's bigger, isn't it? Isn't it? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, God, it, it is bigger. I told you why it's bigger. Why did you not I get it sized? He holds his hands up. Remember, he has a cyber shotgun. Same size. What the fuck is that? What? We well, gotta get a matching set, man. That's like putting on one fucking shoe for one pair and then another shoe from another pair. They don't match. How much do you think gloves are? Gloves? Okay. You can't. You. And he looks at you, and BB, you can tell he's kind of scanning him a little bit. You got mm -hmm. a cyber shotgun put in? You what are you, you a fucking copycat? I liked what you had. I thought, you know, your lieutenant should probably have something similar. It's and not thought, a badge of honor. It's how not. How cool would it be, like, if, like, Maelstrom's coming in, you and I are, like, back to back. Like, boom, boom, cameras rolling. How so many fucking Maelstrom. BDs did you watch before you decided to get that thing I put took in? A, a couple. No, not the like... drug. Jesus Christ, BD, a brain dance. How many videos did you watch, kid? A few. I watched a few. A lot. We were re-watching the Continental. I was just on repeat. That, the that is a time. garbage That's a TV series. Show. Are you the Wick series me? was good. It's my favorite show. Ugh, Jesus Christ. Uh, any, uh, the job. Like Miami, like, the job. The job. The job, he says. The job. <laughs> the job. Uh, he taps the table and he shares an AR feed with all of you in a private AR call so no one can hear. Um, you get like, do you accept to click? Um, does anyone not opt into the call? It's pretty standard practice. I would opt in. He pulls up a map uh, in the center. Uh, the The area you're in falls away, um, and instead pulls up the outside of a supermarket. He says, "Look, we've been running guns uh, in cold storage through the supermarket downtown for the last five years. It's good money." Um, there's a special set of shopping carts that you pick up. You go to the deli. The deli, you order what you want from the deli with fake sliced meats. There is a separate AR file that they pull up that allows them to purchase things from us. And I'm like tapping Calvary on the floor like, that's what, that's what Linda Hamilton's character did in the show. Yeah. <laughs> what in the fuck oh, are you two mind, talking about? There's the two AR people tap each other like... <laughs> <laughs> sorry it's a shitty show that you don't like sorry just it's one of my Jeez. favorite characters like she did the it does <laughs> yeah <laughs> great job great. yeah that's just uh, standpoint 
we are looking to take this back. Maelstrom has taken over the area. Uh, they have set up a small RV out back. Um, they have people working on site. Anyone who goes in to purchase stuff and comes out with the guns are followed and jumped, have it be in the parking lot or at their home, and we are losing clientele over there. The stuff is shipped in from different places throughout, better US and from Canada. We are one of the only suppliers for illegal Arasaka arms in the city. Now, they have them. And, she, and like an arrow in the AR points at the woman at the counter. I don't care how we get a hold nice. of the control of the supermarket again. But what I do know is I need a message sent and I need the Maelstrom gangers off my site. I don't have the men for it. So, if Skulls can make a facial expression, you can tell them it pains him to say it. I need some edge runners to do the job. And the other group oh. that I currently hire are taking care of a purge on, se on second. And I need this done within the next 24 to 48 hours. If you take longer than that, I cut your pay in half. So, would you be interested in the job? Is he like really trying to not be like, I can't believe I'm fucking hiring these amateurs to do this goddamn thing. I, I used to have a gang. I don't have a gang anymore, so now I gotta go to these chumps. I can ask her any details you have. I can give you a blueprint to the supermarket. What else do you think you might need? And I also would say any points, uh, again, AR, that that woman may be a good lead. I know she works the supermarket as well as this diner. I'm not saying she's hostile. I'm just saying she may know something. How many people left the facility at the same time? Because then maybe we can draw more of them out to go beat them up while we go in. Well, you, well usually someone goes in and buys firearms from the deli and then checks out. So it's like one person usually. Maybe two members buying something. The Maelstrom so jump them. It depends on where it happens. Parking lot, if they think they can handle it, two of them roll up on bikes, take them out. If it's honestly, if it's uh, a bigger purchase, a handful, they'll wait till they're off property. So let we're me stalking get this. our people, though. Okay, so our clients stalking, stalking our clients, I should say. So to so to clarify, mm -hmm. the supermarket is currently being run by your by the Iron Lungs. We have a deal with the person who owns the supermarket to run okay. guns through it. We okay, don't own it. So it's just our turf. Iron Lungs have a deal with the people. That's, that's currently what's going on. Not much I can do about fixing it. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Okay, so I was confused. Okay. Kelly was confused. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. And then you're saying. Drugs so will do that. I wish they were working. Um, <laughs> so, so Maelstrom's jumping the clients who come out. Yeah, that's correct. And they're like, is there, is there a reason why they, I mean, maybe I can try and do some research quickly, but is there a reason why they haven't taken over this turf yet then? Considering everything that's been... I don't and think I they like know how many people are left within my club. Okay. That would be my guess. Because they don't have an inside man anymore, you know what I mean? They have no one okay. telling them who's available anymore. How many people have been taken out? Well, they usually don't kill the person. Normally the person buy and gives it up and gives it back, you know what I mean? That's so usually how it goes. And they're not targeting a specific part, like, type of person. No, I just people, I mean, they know the cart and the people who come out and they're jumping the people who are, uh, They just see that. They see the problem. Yeah, you got it. 
Okay. You got it. It's a concern. It, do you happen to know where the Maelstrom headquarters is? Where like, they're getting their commands from? Um, yeah, but I don't think you want to go that deep. I mean, no, no offense. You are greener than a rookie. I know, but if they're watching video of people taking stuff out, maybe it's really good at it. Yeah, you think they're not going to have a counter net runner of some form? <laughs> I mean, I guarantee they have their own their own setup. I don't think that's the smartest idea, to be honest with you. I think that maybe if you had a little more experience and more time, shit, any form of capital, maybe you could do something like that? Okay, sit down the road. Shh. Sure. Sure. Yeah. That's but we would... We would definitely love the blueprint for the supermarket. All right. Uh, he swipes his hand over and he puts up the supermarket. The supermarket have any um anything <coughs> worth trying to take over? It's a small supermarket like most of them are nowadays. It's a single story. Uh, I I don't even know if they have a true back room. Um, their cold storage is a truck parked out back and attached to the building. That's how we get away to doing what we do. Out of that truck, uh, we operate the meat market alongside the firearms so we can ship them out. And there's a so little, you can see at the back, you go in to buy. It's even closed off. They only let a couple people in there at a time to buy. Yeah, I was thinking more like, do you know if they have any net architecture or any like security systems? Yeah, they have their own system. It's a pretty basic net architecture. We have access to the first level and our own password, but it's simply just to be able to slide our AR out to people uh, for purchasing. That's it. We don't have full access to the suite or anything like that. I'm not asking necessarily about full access, but like, do you know, like, I I'm assuming, I would hope that they would have like turrets or something for all the stuff that they're selling it uh yeah are behind the thinking? counter the person's usually strapped um i can tell you the truck we have guns set on since that's our thing um other than that surveillance cameras usually a guard on duty my guard is not gonna get into any ship with people in a style you know what i mean you think the guard's like on the take I mean, we already replaced them once. Uh, I doubt it. <coughs> is it impossible? No. Is it probable? No. So, he ain't one of ours, though. He works for the company. That's a that's a good look. You're the edge runner. <clears throat> doing this. So. Fuck. Yeah, yeah, you might want to check that. Now, I'll remind everybody's a cast. We do have flashback cards too, which will allow you to do some things with flashbacks as well. Um, which always scares me when Matt has access to flashback cards. I do a good job of flashbacking. I don't know why you object to it. Because uh, it always turns everything sideways. That's I'm going to blow up a city. That's eventually that's going to happen. <laughs> uh, I mean, look, Athena almost did fucking rain blood in a district and cause a lightning storm. Like, I can't trust people with flashbacks sometimes. <laughs> um, it's so true. So how do you guys want to go into this? Do you want us just to start blasting? No. no. Uh, look, I'm fine with deaths. El Capitan. I, I'm not saying that is the proper way to do it, but I will never tell edge runners how to do it. This is not a low profile thing. If you want to make a scene, and may, I shouldn't say make a scene, get a point across the maelstrom force is usually the way. We could make a large purchase and entice them to meet us at the destination. We take that, uh, if that's their MO. We even have maybe some friends inside the cops that could kind of cut them off and get a little interrogation. All They're easier are... to pay than Maelstrom. Oh, those are feasible. Okay, so, okay. I, am, I don't disagree with any of that. Again, I'm not here to tell you how to do it. The reason I'm keeping my hands out of this, I don't want it to look like my business is attacking back. Um, they're going to assume it's me, but with no proof, they can't directly come at me without starting a war. I'm sending my people back to Night City to bring reinforcements back. 
But I can't have our gun supply cut off when they're coming back, you know what I mean? What do you think, Calvary? Grab uh, one Calvary one actually like looks up. He's been like writing like just notes. Like, on his, yeah. His, his little pad and everything. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> do you use a physical pad or a digital one? Uh, it, it, if you use a physical pad, like, people are staring at you. Uh, yeah, he he does. He has a physical pad uh, with him. Um, Jesus Christ! Hope you're writing in code, bro. Yeah, right. <clears throat> yeah, of, of course, of course, I am. But uh, is that cursive? He's <clears throat> writing. It is. It is. Just... It, it is. I I I, I, I studied for a long time. I well, anymore. I might as well might as well use it, huh? <clears throat> um, I I like it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Um, I don't give a shit. That's what he says when everyone's like, "I like." It. He's like, "I don't." Yeah, fuck. no, no, no. I, I, can, I can make a call if anything. Uh, if we need to, if we need to get some more of a look. If you can make this look like a cop bus, but not take my shit, that would be amazing. Because then it just looks like the cops found out about it and are busting up the maelstrom. But yeah. I'm hiring you, not the local PD. Don't get me wrong. I love spending their fucking money. Yeah. No, I mean, I, I can have them in my pocket. I'll, I'll see if I can. Uh, Maybe a uh, string can help me spin spin something uh, to tell him if we if we do need any backup. I send a uh, private message to Cal Cavalry. It's not a secret secret, but I send a message secret. to Cavalry saying like, "Hey, that Maelstrom guy that we both framed. Maybe if we get him to help out, you can reduce the sentence question mark question mark." You did fucking frame a guy who did absolutely <laughs> nothing fucking wrong. <laughs> uh, our way. For for a little clarity for those that are here. <laughs> if you don't know, when the big fight and throwdown happened at the Nomad's uh, night market, they decided the best thing to do was to frame the guy selling programs who was a Maelstrom member. But he may not even have anything to do with the fucking shit. But they decided framing him was the best idea they could have. And then so much so, at the end of the episode, Calvary went back and arrested the motherfucker. So rude. So fucking rude. Might as well too be like, no, I, I, I like that. I, I give him a second opportunity at a, 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 a CCK, and she so she knows what CCK is. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just I just do I just send like a little like eight bit jingle. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Dun, 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 yes. Are you serious? Is the crash build eight bit? Yes. It's, it's, it's crash Matt, the music. Don't ask, or he'll start singing it. Um, look, all of this is great. Is there any other questions I can answer for you before I get up and bail out? I got a lot to do. Yeah, when do I get my patch? What the fuck are you talking about? My new lieutenant patch, and do I put it like here, or is it just more of like a on the lapel? Don't worry, don't worry, Rev. I used you as a referral. Is he? Uh, he like what? immediately brings up boop, and the appointments every day of the week. Two oh. of them say uh, conversations about string, and it's a, and it's a list of your therapist and the topics for his session. You don't get a patch, man. There's not one in the mail. You haven't done anything. Yeah, I haven't even been hazed in. You're not even part. I haven't even accepted what are you, you. about? I was practically your lawyer. What? No, how are you my fucking lawyer? Oh my god. Is there any other questions that you all fucking have for me? No, we got it. Excellent. He slides the file of the map and the data to you. It has like the list of the employees, like the names. It has the shifts on it. It's all the basic data you already have. Uh, it has a, a menu of what they sell there, how to access it when you go up. All of that stuff's in the package. He gave you a decent package for beginning Edgar Runners. It's kind of like a solve the problem, get rid of the maelstroms off the lot. It's all I'm asking. They may not even be part of the bigger maelstrom group. They may be a small gang of maelstrom groups. He doesn't. He just doesn't have time nor the manpower to deal with it. 
He's like, oh yeah. Uh, he waves his hand, and your bank accounts get hit with a thousand each. Half up front. Did you guys set up a bank account for me? Oh, that's so fucking BB nice. strings pop up as well. So you know what B. <laughs> Whoever's monitoring his money. Yeah, it was probably me who set it up. <laughs> you like feed it through into his AR. He's like, yeah, wish you the best of luck. Just uh, don't don't uh, don't get killed. All right. I've had enough of that the last two weeks. We won't boss. Except for you. You can die if you have to. It's OK. Whatever for the club. Yeah, you're not part of the fucking club. And he turns and walks out the door. You hear his bike start up and he leaves. Oh, that, um, guy. that guy's awesome. When he leaves the the area, is there anything that you have questions about on the map? Any little background information you want to do? Is anyone going to try to schmooze the woman at the counter to, to do anything? Um, are you going to scope the place over 24 hours? Is there any flashback cards you want to use? How would the team like to approach this? Is it think of it like blades? Are you gonna kick the door down and shoot these motherfuckers up where they're parked in the back? You have an RV out back. Are you gonna try to be smart about this and somehow espionage it? Don't think this group is that great at it. I mean, just look at your fucking team. You have a cop, a K-pop star, a homeless person, and one hacker. I am a news reporter, <laughs> sir. Right. <laughs> the string can news. <laughs> I think maybe if someone wants to go with me, but I'll I can go scope it out. I'll put a different wig on, okay, a different look, sure, and I'll just like go buy, you know, food or whatever. Yeah, like actually grocery that. shop. Yeah. Okay. I'll go check out the area. That is because definitely a doable thing. Definitely a doable thing. So, um, if he's got a manifest of the people that work there yeah they're um, just regular joes nothing nothing seems on first glance out of right. the place um regular then i joes. will do i don't know if i can do can i do stuff on train you can always roll just a stat it's just risky okay and the only things you have to be trained in are the double cost ones okay because those are considered like true talent skills. Like you don't know how to fucking do surgery unless you trained in surgery. Like you're gonna fucking kill somebody on accident okay. or purpose. Um, uh, I think then for right now, I will do a library search. Mm -hmm. Um, on the on the employees, including the security guard, they have just to okay. see if like anything's happened that maybe might be public record or. Maybe not public record, because let me take a look at library search. Okay. Um, you At databases and even search libraries, at base 14, you could easily access the Library of Congress if it was still there. Base 18, public databases, most private databases, very obscure facts, blah, blah, blah. So I'm going to try and roll library search, because right now it's a base of plus 16, and then if I use my agent, that gets to a plus 2. Okay. Because um, I just want to see, and I don't know how long it takes, it doesn't say, but I want to see like if there's anything. A couple of minutes. Like I said, anything hinky that any of these people might have been up to, that maelstrom would be like, sure, holding over them. Sure, like basically, are they blackmailing them to be able to do this? Right. So I got a twenty-three. There's no blackmail. What it really looks like is this. Damn it. This uh, <laughs> this staff is the owner, his wife. They hired one maelstrom member who was down on their luck, giving them a chance to kind of like come back and like not be a piece of shit and you're the only connection is somehow through this person who got hired there's a there that's the leak but they've had other people who are stock boys and workers and people who do things but they've all got ran off it's like a three-person crew at this place and they rotate shifts so there's barely more than one on and a security guard so um, even I if they wanted to fight back what would they do Right. Can I? Do I need to roll separately on the uh, security guard? Um. Yeah, you can make one on him if you want, like a library, just to see if there's anything on him. Yeah. Um. That was a twenty-four. Um. His name is. That's really quick. Uh, his name is Leo. Leo. 
Leo, I think his last name is Stinger. Yeah, Leo Stinger. Okay. Um, two kids, been security to other places, nothing creepy or off about him. Overall, pretty clean record. Okay. So, like, nothing, like, anything that... <clears throat> I'm not saying that he did anything bad, but like nothing that anyone could hold over him. Like doesn't seem like it. Stupid amounts of debt or anything like that. No, nothing like that. Nothing. Okay. There's nothing real crazy. All I mean, right. he's just a security uh, guard. More than likely, you're guessing not in. Huh? Yeah. No. Um. Okay. Well, then we've at least got a- another little bit of connection. There. Sure. Um. If anyone else wants to do anything while I clean my glasses. <laughs> Well, are you going to go, um, I mean, is there anything else you're going to do in the diner is my question. That's probably the big thing. Otherwise, we can cut to away from this and you guys can do a couple of little pre-legwork pieces before you dive into whatever shit show this is going to turn into. Why no string of dinner? Does anybody else want some food? I, I want some. <clears throat> I'll take some more shit milk. Woman goes, another shit milk coming up, shit stain. Thank you, sweet cheeks. You realize you're ordering from the kids' menu, right? There's a kids' menu? I can't read. Oh, Jesus. Uh. Cool. Cool. Here's your. She just thinks you're being a cheap piece of shit that gets like free refills on chocolate milk and crap. Like, she thinks you're that. A bunch of lemons with my water, please. And she brings out another chocolate milk. She does. Walk over to the table and bring things over. Oh, um, can I ask her a question then? She absolutely, yeah. She's the one delivering stuff. There's a cook in back. You can see him through the back window. But yeah, you can ask her whatever you want. Say, say, gorgeous. Do you think that my hands look different? Like, is this one bigger than this one? <laughs> I think I got some shit where... God. What do you think? Why didn't you get a matching set if you wanted a woman's arm? I don't know. I, you know what I really need? I'd love to get some like, Arasaka shit. I want to lean over to Calvary and like, give him an elbow. I was like, that would be some good shit. Anyway. Arasaka. But, uh, I got uh, this. You know, yeah, they make good tech, she says. They yeah. make real good tech. I have a little bit of it myself. Oh, man. If you could ever hook me up with your, your guy. That's what I need. I need to just go head to toe. Look, man, you got to hunt for that stuff. It's just not anywhere. Yeah. Oh, that's too bad. But, hey, that's good. Bad. Wish you the best with your j9 female jerker you got um what this is called no it's not oh. what it's called but oh <clears throat> so lonely nights talks- is all she says as she sets your chocolate milk down and turns around and walks away from you so when she talks about how it's really hard to get yeah uh i want to roll human perception sure absolutely um it's down by one because you know i got some surgery Yep, surgery and real life sickness and <laughs> I got a base I got a ten, a lot Yeah, you don't 10. nothing. I'm two up, yeah. Yeah, nothing. Right, she kinda so walks back, goes through the bar section. Uh, anyone else is welcome to make a human perception on her if they're also interested in that. That's up to you. Sure. And the place gets busy, you know, and uh, depending how long you're gonna sit here, you just see people come in and out. Uh the one guy who was sitting next to string waves as he kinda limps out. You can tell he's he's got a back issue like walking out and a couple of the wage slaves same way when they get up from their stools they're kind of hunched over and like yeah. fixing their back and making their way out working their 24 hour shifts nope. I didn't know better so I've got an 11 11 no idea either man no no read on her it's hard to get a read when they barely have a face true very true barely have a face um, anything else before we cut to you doing a 13 some... on human perception. Does that matter? She right. seems yeah, like and just uh, being honest for those people. Like, look, she's she's doing her job. She's wearing the okay. face and gives zero fucks about anything. Like, that's the truthful statement. She has no rhyme or reason to help you other than for you to buy crappy chocolate milk and get free refills <laughs> and for her to bring food to everybody who's here. And that's that's her job. <clears throat> All right. Well, she didn't bite on that. No. She didn't. Um... No, definitely not during the workout, probably too. Like the only thing that uh, I would do while we're here eating, I would mm-hmm. actually order something like legit normal food. Yeah. Normal, normal food post surgery. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, 
Get the tofu chicken fingers. While we're, I mean, we're not staying here very long, but just like in case. Um, tofu fingers. Them. Keep an eye out for the uh, maelstrom number who is down on their luck. See if they just happen <coughs> to stop in at all. If yeah, no, you see no other maelstrom member stopping. Actually, that's the one thing you do. Okay. Notice. Obviously, she works here and is not tying it to her external affairs and job choices. This is the pay the fucking bills, is what you're guessing. Um, she does take a few AR calls in the back. She kind of steps out of the back in, into the cook area and comes back out when she takes a call. Never anything public. You do hear her talking to somebody back there. It's about okay. it. A drone delivers food when she's too busy. Okay. That's about it. And I'm good to go unless anyone wants to do anything. All right. Yeah, I was going to... I was gonna say, can I try to manipulate my audio uh, effect because I can mess with like uh, scrambling signals and everything. Sure. And I'm a little bit easier to hear. Can I try to hear uh, who she's talking to in the back and what they're talking about? Ooh, uh, what does it give you a bonus in when you use it? Um, so technically the, uh, I've got hearing, which gives me like a plus two, uh, involving hearing. There's the radio scanner, which I can kind of mess with, uh, broadcasts. Uh, and then there's a scrambler, descrambler when it comes to, uh, uh, to signals <clears throat> and communications. Okay. But seeing if I can try to m manipulate that in a way to, it, uh, do you got a like, it, do you got the any radio skill? signal from her phone. Any skill that would help you with that? Ah, damn, I guess uh, it didn't fix. Yeah, I could also go with, uh, what is it, lip reading? Okay. She's not going to be visible when she walks into the back room. No, okay. I would say probably electronics or a perception check is probably your best bet. Okay. I'm like trying to tune in and, and hear what she's yeah. having a conversation on. Okay, I'll do that. Let's see. Uh, 14. 14. Um, her conversation sounds like it's with a family member. That's what I would say. Okay. Yeah, I would, and, I'd probably say there, there's a lot of people in here as well, too. Yes. So, Very much. Sense. Okay. She says, uh, she's like, oh, no, no, I'll be home in like uh, another four hours. Just calm down. Don't worry about it. Everything's be fine. It's okay. You can burn the crap, crap and cheese. It's all right. Just eat some kibble for now. Like that kind of thing. She's obviously talking to a family member at home. Okay. Uh, so it's a cool mom life, yo. Yeah, kind of. It's kind of the impression you would get off of it in passing. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. a very fair way to look at it. So she uh, she's going to work the rest of the shift. What is the plan for the group then now that you kind of have a location? You know where it is in town. <laughs> You know they have an RV there. How does this edge running group want to handle this for their very first edge run ever? Wow. Anyone got ideas? Like where and where are you having this conversation? Where's the scene set? Are you back at the RV at the Nomad Camp with with uh with Din Viesel? Din Viesel. <laughs> yeah, we can be. Hey, Din. Um. I feel like that's... Hey, Din. Buddy, how are you doing, darling? Is everything I'm good? Gonna, yeah, I'm gonna need to borrow, like, either, like, some car or a motorcycle that... Well, works. the other one's fixed up. You can take the Cooper back out, or you can you can take the motorcycle out. Both of them are repaired. Don't worry. Mm, just in case, maybe, if I have to change the way it looks. I, I under no that. stickers. You know the rules of cars. You don't put bumper um, stickers on family cars. No. If I were to borrow it tonight, then I have to make sure it looks different the next day for the job. We don't have camo skin or chameleon skin on any of this stuff. Can't have a rotating paint job. We ain't got the money for that. Okay. Well, that's part what do you want the family to repaint it overnight? It's going to be wet <laughs> still tomorrow. Okay. Maybe I'll just get it really dirty. Dark? I don't know if that's better or worse. <laughs> Um, we can, we can just. I don't know if we can actually do this. Can we just like boost a car? No, hundred percent could. It's always yeah. an option. So I turned to. I turned to. Uh, Is it the best idea? No, but can no, you do it? Absolutely. I'm saying if we need like some shitty one to like do an undercover thing. And you know it's fine. Even if somebody <laughs> sees you do it, you got a cop with you that's all that'll bust you, and then you can just you know. 
I don't know if that I don't well, know if that makes anyone feel better about the situation. Don't the cops have like an impound lot? I mean, oh. why are we boosting when we could just That's ask true. a favor? Right. That is technically true. Exactly. You could try to get a car out of impound. Maybe a Maelstrom car. Well, um, no, that's the problem. I'm going to have to have the paperwork and for actual cause with it because they've been cracking down a lot. Well, paperwork? Oh, oh, come on, Calvary. Just slide them a few eddies. They're all down on their luck cops. Yeah. They need a little extra money. What would it take to forge paperwork? What type of paperwork? To get a car out of impound. I mean, I'm asking because this is the first time I've actually played, like... I mean, you would... You, it would be digital is the problem. He would... It'd be easy for him to get a car compared to the rest of them. The DV would be way lower. I have a pretty good forgery skill. skill, Kelly. Are you pretty good at that, too? Forgery is what you would use. Forgery... Because not real physical documents like there used to be. It's all digital docs now, so forgery falls under the, the digital doc area. There is forgery. Yep. Is that tech? Zero. <laughs> so, I mean, I've got a base of eight. Oh. Oh, yeah, definitely give it a fucking try. If that's up if that's what you wanted to do. Or he can make a call and try to persuade to get one out of the lot too. That's another option. I don't know if he wants to use that call to get one out of the lot or if he wants to use that call to try and get our um totally not innocent, totally not set up maelstrom buddy. What's the plan? I guess this would have come I mean as you're all sitting there, uh Din's like, look, first off, very proud of you. And BB, honestly, for getting yourself a job as edge runners, that's, I know. that's pretty good. It's pretty good. He's like rolls the wheelchair and turns on the TV <laughs> and rolls back. He's like, um, I got to say, though, but you start, you never go back. Life's never the same. I mean, your family will have your back, but it's never the same. You're on the outside something. now. I try something new. Yeah. What about him? And he points to Calvary. What? Are you really doing this stuff like to be a man of the people? Yeah. Or is it just yeah. is it just greed like every other person? <clears throat> no, 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 no. It ain't, uh, like BB has got a reason. No one knows what it yeah, is. No, it's, uh, it's a little bit deeper than that. It's it's been a long time before. I don't want to get into my. Why back. is he recording all this? <laughs> it's what I do. You guys do what you do. I do what I do. Where He's recording all of it, though? Look, yeah, you guys should not be recording this shit and putting out your plans for what you're going to do. Well, he, he, he likes to make a, his personal blog, uh, is what I was telling. He's got to, he said that there's a bloopers or something. I like get 17 Eddie's, Eddie's a month. Weekly. <laughs> Eddie's a month. You must be a real streamer. <laughs> <laughs> all right, well. Look, um, I'm here to give any advice I can. Obviously, Rev, if you need a car, you can have to use, but well, please yeah. don't. See, I was thinking I should go scope out the area first since I can make myself look different and I can record in my brain dancer like everything that's happening. Oh, or I... just the way everything looks. I mean, you could do a walkabout. Could... Yeah, sure. I, mean, I could go with you at least to, to help you scope it out. It's, and I, mean, I can go with you guys. I no, I just come on. I don't need film crew following me. Okay, fine. That would be the really horrible. I mean, it's a, where's it at? Where's the job? Are you familiar with like this tiny ass supermarket? Wow, where what 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 streets it on? Uh, Look it up. The street it's on. Yeah, that one it's on Eleven Mile. Hard mm, okay. Eleven. 11 mile and MLK. Oh, well, then it's already, yeah. <laughs> he goes, oh, yeah, it's a little tiny supermarket ran by um, a small family. Uh, we bought milk for them for a while when we lived closer to that side of town. They ain't bad people. I, how the fuck are you doing a hit or a, a job on them? It's not, it's not them. Um... I guess people like go, they buy stuff there, and then depending on what they buy, Maelstrom hits them afterwards, and that's what we're trying to take care of. Oh, that's fucking weird. Um, look, uh, I mean, no family deserves having that done to them. Um, well, what do you need from us? What can, what can we do? 
I mean, I, I mean, I'm just here to like try and help strategize. Like I was hoping, I want to cramp rough style, but maybe put me in the trunk of the car or something, and I can do some <laughs> scanning. Look, we have a small van you can use for now. It ain't great, but it looks like a mom's car. I mean, don't get in a chase with it, because your mom will be mad. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll we can borrow that. Okay. It's this old, crappy, brown, rusted, bondoed with different fucking fenders on it of different colors in the middle of the process being repaired. It fits into the rest of the garbage cars in the city. Put her in the trunk <laughs> and Matt. <laughs> um, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Like, I can, I mean, I know that um, Cavalry offered to go with you, but like, I don't know if he's going to be able to scan everything. Well, so then it's going to be Rav and BB going to there to do a quick scope of the place. Calvary, are you going to try to get this guy out of jail? Like, what was the plan for the Maelstrom guy? Like, why were you wanting to get him out of jail? What were you going to use him for? Are you going to fucking use him as an informant? Like, what do you so, do? Yeah, the plan that I had suggested, maybe, if it would work, and that's for Cavalry to decide, is, like, because the Maelstrom guy is already in jail and we kind of already know that it's all bullshit. Mm -hmm. um, oh, he could easily get it dropped, like, easily. That's what I'm saying. Like, maybe Calvary can be like, hey, you help us out with this supermarket thing and we'll help you. Like, if he knows anything about it, you know, we'll help you out and then we can get the charges dropped or whatever. But I don't know if Calvary wants to do that or if he wants the arrest on the books to make, like get his cred back up. Like, I don't know. So that's why I just... There's none of that. You're, you're going way too deep. Do you want to go talk to him in lockup? I can go, uh, I, I can go chat with him in lockup, yeah. Okay. Yeah. We'll there. start there, actually. Yeah, we'll start in lockup. <laughs> hey, Calvary. Uh, okay. So you're going to go talk to him in lockup. Um, mm -hmm. When you roll into the station, uh, make your way through, sign out to, to talk to him in lockup. Because it's really, I mean, they don't question you on it. Like, it's just how, what you do. Mm -hmm. uh, he comes to the glass, the classic style. Unless you want to be in a room with him. That's up to you. Um, I'll, I'll be in a room with him, actually. Okay. So in a room, so they, they cough him to the table, bring him to a room. Yeah. Uh, his head's down. He's looking at you. You can see he's got some stab wounds. He didn't have those when he went in. Oh, no. Hey, uh, you uh, you getting roughed up on the inside? Oh, 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 now you care? I mean, uh, hey, listen, uh, all this information came up. That's why I had to take you in. My job. What law? What law did I break exactly? Uh, all, the one you, all the one you fucking made up. That you had at your, uh, at your booth. Jesus Christ! You're wearing shit that's probably illegal. This? No, this is this is legit. Oh yeah. What about your car? Want to talk about your car? Uh, what I do with my personal vehicle? That is my own. Okay. But listen. What? Listen to this shit. Hey, look. Do you want to get out of here or not? All right. He I like looks to, to his stomach where he's got like the two fucking stabs of the ribs and the stomach. He's like, nobody wants to be in here, you jackass. I was just making money to get by. And I wasn't even selling illegal shit that affected the fucking PD. I was just selling shit. Hey, hey, look, that's my job. They told, they told me the information. I came You're out. You're going to arrest you, the guys. rest of your goddamn <laughs> friends in that fucking night market. No, I, I, I did not with that. And but you know what? I want to give you an opportunity to uh, because you did help me out. I'm not fucking singing. I mean, actually, you get out of here a lot faster. If you me, just me, do me, it. I'll I'd rather get stabbed again. I mean, I, I I heard that you actually sing with that guy and everything. He can pull some strings. Oh Jesus Christ, man! No, I don't want. Okay, all right, fine. If you don't want to sing, then uh, what 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 do they? How long do they say that you were gonna be in here for then? For illegal wear and black ice, like fucking ten years. I gotta at least try to try to knock that down. Knock it down? No, yeah. wipe it clean. You gotta wipe it clean if you want any help from me. You know, Listen. and I know, I did nothing wrong. Okay, all right. You know what? You, you made you me a fucking fall guy. And if you think for a minute I don't have people on the outside, they're gonna fucking find you. 
know why you're threatening me. I didn't. I didn't put the. Hey, look. Look at these fingers. These fingers don't know how to how to deal with shit like that. Okay. I'll make uh -huh. you deal. Okay. This is, this is I will see if I can wipe it clean scenario. if you give me some more information and two things. Information what do you want information on? You gotta sing. Porn BDs? What do you want fucking information on? <clears throat> the supermarket. What soup? There's a lot of them in this city. You're gonna yeah. have to be a little more specific than that, boy a in blue. Supermarket down on MLK and 11. Oh, Jesus Christ. I don't know anything about it. You don't know anything about it. I don't know anything about it. Really? Uh, no, and uh, you can you can just put them back in the cell. Oh, no, no, no. I, see, see, that... that see, you I'm ready to go back. He now. starts like racking the chains. <laughs> Racks the uh, chains again. I'm ready to go yeah. back. Yeah, yeah, not just... I want to grab him by the collar and then just, like, slam him, like, down onto the table a little bit. For a little bit of, uh... What? What, what? Oh, give me a roll then. If you want to interrogate me, give me a roll. All right. All right. Doing it. You son of a bitch. <laughs> I, was, I was trying. I was trying to be nice, okay? You son of a bitch. Nice. Mm hmm. Okay. That's a 16. A 16. You slam his hands down once, he's like. You can tell this guy is not a physical altercation guy. Mm -hmm. Look, man. I don't know. One of the Maelstrom splinter groups are running some fucking crazy thing there. I, I, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I'll tell you what. You get me out of here. You get me back my neuro deck. Maybe I can get a little bit more information for you. This is just gonna be what on your word? What am I gonna do? Run from you? Fuck it! Half my body doesn't work well. He like kicks a leg out, and you can see it's like a broken, not the best cyber leg. Look, I know what's going on, but not a lot. I have access to the passwords uh, for the Maelstrom groups. I do a little bit of. You know, I make sure the servers work right and things like that. Get me out. Maybe I can help get a little information for you. Get me an informant if you need. That would be good, especially. Uh, how much, how well do you know of? Um, uh, oh shit! Why? No, uh, trench. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, how how well do you know trench? He's the he's the head of the Iron Lungs. Everyone knows who he is. He's like some fucking community hero. Yeah. What's that do then? I did uh, hear from somebody on the inside. All of his men got shipped to fucking Night City, though. That I couldn't tell you. I was I was curious because I know he was one of the ones that uh, had that shoot up. Hey, that, uh, I had nothing to do with that. I, know, I don't know I why I'm shoot. getting blamed for anything to do with that. Hey. Hey, so what we'll do, I'll get you out of here. Try to be a little bit more careful with your advertisements and everything. Advertisements? We're in a night market, you motherfucker. Be better. I mean, that's that's what a friend of mine would say. Be, be better. Be be. Be better. Be better. Oh, my God. Look, man, if you can get me out of here, I'll give you a hand. <laughs> I, I get I, I, I will get you out of here if you get me out I'll help you if you can't get me uh, out then kind of fuck you man don't come knocking anymore cool oh and you owe me uh, you should give me that uh, 80 eddies that you took from me too that'd be nice oh you think I have that in my fucking pocket keister what do you think where do you think that 80s at <laughs> we'll find it don't worry I got I got you I got well, you gonna get me my stuff on the way I'll make sure I give it to you <laughs> you son of a bitch get me out i'm done talking to you until you do mm -hmm. so are you going to pull this guy out of lockup as they come and like uncuff him walk him back yeah yeah yeah. yeah. you're gonna like wipe the paperwork okay so what is your excuse for him getting turned in are you gonna place the blame somewhere else like how are you gonna go about making it look um, like they got I'm, the I'm, wrong person yeah I'm, I'm i'm gonna tell them um because one one thing that I that I do always tell them, like I, I'm always working, you know, at night as well. 
Uh, but I, I know that the information was bullshit with him. I want to bring it up that um, I had somebody running code on all the stuff that had happened, uh, mm. and actually it was not coming from him, that he was actually set up. Um, okay. They're going to ask for a name. Who was it? Na- who was who, it? Did who, it? Who, who is the right person? He got set up. Who set him up? That I actually... No. <laughs> is that is that something she's p- pinging you or are you gonna you know, you know that's great because I want to play a <laughs> flashback card Frank House um, <laughs> that I made sure that I had an earpiece this whole time with her just you know all these great all, all, all this great information that Fuck. she's able to just download into my you... brain yeah. <laughs> we had a oh. talk about this beforehand all right <laughs> All right, just, all right. Now they're all you're bo- all three on here. Go ahead. What what are you telling him to do then, BB? <laughs> so you got this, to hurt. That means you also heard the pun. Mm-hmm. Um, be better. Be better. <laughs> so first of all, I'm like yes. Second of all, when he's like, who do we pin this on? I'm like, I mean, I don't know. Blame it on the maelstrom guy that's working at the shop. That takes out one person if he's involved, and if he's that, then the slow gears of justice will grind him up and take him out some however way it lands i don't know the guy at the place is known as shoddy that is the maelstrom member at the supermarket i can't believe that this is how you guys are going to go about this okay um so you tell him that i do need a roll from from calvary to kind of make this seem believable even though it is Semi true. This guy did nothing sure. wrong. Uh, do you want persuasion then? Uh, yeah, I think persuasion or or bureaucracy or law. One of those would probably make a lot of sense too. Like using a law skill because you're um, pulling police etiquette up for this. Let's see if I can. Do it. I can't believe this is how this Tactics. is going to go. Yeah, some bullshit. Yeah, the law sort of stuff. What is the name of our uh, card for flashbacks? Setup. As- as, as we're doing this... We're going to um, use KJ's setup because you're bringing her in because that's some bullshit. Sweet. Okay. I want to try and roll forgery to help. Sure. <laughs> Absolutely. Give me a forgery roll. I'll roll for the person on the other end here. Oh, my God. I got a 10. <sighs> I got another 10. Okay. Can keep exploding or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. So I'm, at, I'm at 28 right now. Okay. Uh, I'm at 31 for forgery. Holy shit. BB has been planning this bullshit. It's like a wet dream of hers from a long time ago. And she's just, just set someone up. Just to 100%. set someone up and own them. Yes. Real fucking weird. Um, would you do you wanna my... do you wanna bury it with this a little more as well? Yeah. Sure. Just Let's just make it a 32. <laughs> just a little more. Will you serving hands just a little more? We'll bury it at 32. Uh, what did you get? Not that it even fucking matters now. It seems so legit. It's like it came from the DA. I, I got a 14. <laughs> they go, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. And they look at the paperwork like, oh, well. I mean, it does look like the signatures all trace back to him. That cross references that. I mean, it, how did you fuck this up? Hey, hey, you know what? I, I went about, I was there before somebody told, made a call. Whoever made the call to me originally on that. That's, this, uh, whatever, man. Uh, yeah, we'll release him. He'll be out. Uh, are you picking him up? Is this like a CI thing? Yeah, no, I, I can go ahead and take him now. Well, we got to do the paperwork and stuff. He'll be out in about five hours. Okay, that's that's fine. I mean, he was say, facing 10 years. He's going to be ecstatic. You're going to be like his best friend. Oh, I know. He should be very happy. We'll that. make sure we send him out the back to you like always. I right, appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, appreciate it. Uh, so as he does that, uh, and everything gets sent the most, that was the biggest line of bullshit I've ever heard. <laughs> um, it's just not, it's not okay. Um, this is not okay. So what, that's what you and BB end up doing. Uh, you're going to go to, so you're on the trunk of, a, you're in the back of the van helping him. Yes. She's yes. going to go to the supermarket. Yes. Is String going with her? Even though she said I'm going by myself. (laughs) 
Don't tell me what to do. Am I? Am I? Yeah. Yeah, I thought so. Yeah. Are you Probably. there before her? Oh, well, I'm waiting on her. Like, at, at, you're waiting on her there? Yeah, he's like, where are you? Hurry up. Like, oh, finally. I'm so, just so everyone, like, I'm in a different wig, different, like, different sure. look. I want to look yeah. completely different. Uh-huh. Uh, I told you. Okay, fine. Maybe I'll get a follower or two if I'm on your thing. All right. Yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm just sleeping. I'm like, I'm like the sleeping, like, kid in the backseat. Right, you got the hat pulled down real low. Just... Yeah. So, I'm oh, like... yeah, I've got my hoodie like yeah. this. Yeah, let me take <laughs> us to the supermarket. So, this is not the job. This is you guys scoping it. Yeah, this um, is just like... So, you show up the supermarket. It's semi-busy. There's maybe a dozen to 20 people here uh, when you come in. Uh, the woman behind the counter is younger. Um, definitely... Looks like she's maybe Korean as your guess at first glance. Like she's definitely um, uh, not not what you would expected from what they were describing. She is small, petite. The man who comes out with all the stock boxes is a huge individual with a huge red single cyber eye. And he's probably six, eight. Carrying a bunch of the groceries out, setting them down and stocking. It looks like the Maelstrom. Uh, he waves to you, he's like, hey, if you need anything, you can uh, look at the AR feed. Uh, and the grocery lists are in each aisle for the things that are there. If something is out of stock, what is the word? If it's out of stock, it's on us. That's 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 what we're supposed to say. Oh, thank you so much. What a... Can I get a appearance roll from you? Sure. I mean, wardrobe in style? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is Bring who we five. set up. So we're so okay. good. And this is the person you set up, yes. <laughs> <laughs> we're such kind people. What'd you get? 15. Um, excuse me, ma'am. I just wanted to say I, I love your hair. Is he like continue oh. stocking the shelf? Thank you so much. That's so sweet of you. Yeah, you look like some of my favorite uh, uh, K-pop stars. Uh, really great look. I just want to say oh, it's really thank good. You. My mom is a very big fan. She's working the counter. Oh, great. I, I can't wait to meet her when I'm done shopping. Oh, she's I, very nice. She's very I, nice. Yeah, I came from Japan, so I love that. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be... Um, Judgy, I, I just meant you look like okay. You, I'll be on the other aisle if you need anything at all. And he like rounds the corner, realizing he made an absolute fool of himself, especially when I rolled a nine to try to interact with you. Um, the woman comes out, she goes, If you need anything, you just ask questions. Everything is in the aisle they should be in, only one person in checkout at a time. Yes, ma'am. Now, Thank you. those who've been in really shitty cities or really shitty parts of town, that is a real thing. Sometimes they only let like one or two people in and no kids yes. are allowed in. Yes. They wait outside like dogs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As they should. As they should. Um, so she's like, whenever you're ready, come in one at a time. Uh, I like your wig. I prefer blue. And she goes back to what she was doing. Oh, I have a blue one. I should have worn that one. Okay. Yeah, okay, um, find the stuff you need and check out. Thank you. Excellent. I'm glad that you are here shopping at our lovely supermarket. Fucking hate this place. Uh, and she <laughs> goes and like goes back to what she's doing. It is busy. You see only one Maelstrom person in the building. Okay. I'm making sure that I'm recording at all times. Yeah. Okay. You're, you Me basically too. get a full layout. That means you go the camera placements. It, like, well, you record it. There's a chance when you go back into the brain dance, you guys can find the camera placements and stuff like that. Mm. You can also just try to spot them. BB can be wired through it, also looking. But I think okay. she was helping Calvary, so she's, she's probably a little busy right now as that's kind of getting done. Mm -hmm. um, if you'd like to give me a net action to search um, like through her optics, you're welcome to do that, BB. What is String doing walking around this place? I honestly would like to, I was waiting for the rev interaction to stop, but I want to kind of nudge her in the ribs going, hey, like that guy is our link into the back. You should go and flirt a little bit more. Like he is primed and ready to go. Like you could do whatever you want with that guy. If you're not going to buy anything homeless, man, you must leave. 
Hey, I got money. Hey, loitering. Buy something. I, pick, I just pick up the first thing. I'm buying this, whatever this. Can I get a D6 from you? I have a table for random objects in this aisle. Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. It's a six. Tampons. Yes. Buy the fucking yeah. tampons. I bleed a lot. Fucking, I show a bullet hole. See? Those are very good for that. We also have medical kits two or aisles over. Oh. I don't fucking need this then. And I set it back. I head to two aisles over. So you see a timer rolling. in your AR pop up with five minutes. Something you have five minutes right. to buy something. Okay, I'll Vagrant. get the fucking medical stuff. Am I rolling um, interface or Can like reception? Interface okay. for it, just to kind of look through her eyes and see stuff. Like you're basically scanning for cameras, looking for cameras. Mm -hmm. If you have a program that was helped, you could, but you're not in their database. Yeah, it's just visuals. I guess you're um, right. It probably would be perception. I apologize, Kelly. You are right. It would be okay. perception. That's because I wasn't. It wouldn't be interface because you're not hacking. Um, I got a 15. It's pretty good. It's not great. It's pretty good. You do see they have a camera above the counter when when the in the checkout area, like on the door, probably one inside. The door where you came in has one. Also, if I pull the map up here, the ATM over here has one. And this display has one. And the other thing that's odd is this mirror doesn't <laughs> face outside. It's another room. Which mirror? One at the very far south side of the room. Okay. Oh. That is actually a room behind here. Okay. Uh, the back spot, the spot where you check out is here. And then the area you go like order the meat that you want and pick up is this counter over here. And the, basically the centerpiece opens, they hand you your stuff and you can walk out with it. But that's the meat market with all the displays for what is for sale from the meat market. I bleed a whole lot. Matt Palmer, 2024. <laughs> Great. Great. So those are the, the least you see. You don't see the turret that's supposed to be here. Whatever like the protection is, you're not seeing okay. it. It may be in checkout, which would, be, would make the most sense. Um, and then the back area to like for like the trucks and stuff would be off the map to the west. Or sorry, to the okay. east side, behind here. Right. Um. So as you're walking around shopping and buying things, Shadi kind of like I don't want to say stalks, but he definitely like stays at the end of the road and he's like doing the end caps and like watching you shop, but like not creepy, but like kind of creepy. Like he's just doing his thing. Um. He looks like he's maybe mid 20s he looks primed and ready <laughs> go get him <laughs> um so i'll turn like i'll snap real quick towards him and be like so how long have you been working here and she like crap <sighs> something off the shelf oh uh, uh, uh he like puts the bags of uh of super chips back in his spot and he goes i've been um working for uh, the supermarket about three weeks. Oh, you're brand new. Sort of, yeah. Yeah, um, how long have you been working, shopping here? Oh, it's actually my first <laughs> time. I was told really great things about the family. Uh, the, 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 yeah, the yeah. family's very kind. Um, uh, the Rios have been good to me. Um, I'm, yeah, I met the Rios uh, shopping here as a kid. My family lives oh. in the area. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're really nice. Are you not working? She yells from behind the counter. No, no, I'm helping somebody, Miss Rio. Oh, sorry. She gets really particular with only three people working here. It's it's okay. it's work, work, work. <laughs> yeah. He smiles all fucking weird. Now, with that, I'm going to give you a picture of the guy. Oh, so no. you know what your mark is. How handsome he is. Oh, look at that handsome man. Okay. He's that. been oh, set wait. up with a 32 forgery. Where is the handout? It's in the NPCs, NPCs. under shoddy. NPCs under shoddy. S-H-O-T-T-Y. That's a good looking fella. Hey -oh. Seven oh, eyes. Oh, protect you. It's Whoa. gaze upon your beauty seven times. Right, right. Oh. So, um, uh, yeah, if he only had lines that good, BB, <laughs> you're gonna have to feed him some AR code here because he ain't got shit. Um, so, uh, yeah, if you if you need anything else, let me know. I see your friend is uh, 
shopping around. Uh, welcome again to the supermarket. Uh, yeah, look, I don't really know <laughs> what else I should be really saying to you. I just... I really like all of your chrome. Like, it's oh, really cool. Oh, I uh, so I joined uh, with a work group that uh, helped me but get this way. I served... Jobs. I have four jobs. Four? Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. Two kids make you do that. Oh, yeah, two kids. Now, the setup that you guys are putting this guy in jail is just making this worse at this point. You keep digging. I'm going to keep laying on guilt. You know what? Keep digging. Phoebe doesn't care. Yeah. Care. Kelly cares. Let's bitch. Phoebe does my, not care. My character cares. Like, genuinely, even though it's just, you know, we know what we're doing. I'm getting here. the guy out of prison. I don't think that's happening. I actually, yet, I so actually don't know if BB or not BB, I don't know if Revan and String know what we're doing. No, you don't. <laughs> it's it's obvious. BB and Cavalry just it's obvious. assholes burying um, somebody. Look, um, is there, uh, is there anything uh, specific that you're looking for that I could kind of help you find? I mean, no, I just, you know, I, like, I and I heard like a rumor there's like a secret thing back here. Do you know about something? He like secret? drops the like cute part. What do you mean? I don't know. There was like people coming in and out and like getting cool shit. Like I, I just thought maybe one day like I could get something cool. But but I also I'm I just want to check out the supermarket for sure. I'm gonna make up. A- Perception check on you and see if I'm getting hustled. I feel zero percent bad about this. Would you like to use a skill versus me as I'm trying to read on you? Sure. I'll give you. uh, He loves K-pop, so I will give you your bonuses for wardrobe style to this roll. (laughs) Okay. Your plus one for your hand. Does he see the charm? Do you have a charm yet hanging off of it at all? I would have put on a. Like a Hello Kitty charm. Of thing. course you do. <laughs> I want the audience to roll dice. I'm so mad that my dice roller is not working right now. Yeah. I thought you got it fixed. No, it didn't Is fix it. It, it oh, just, okay. it, it's just automating. It, it basically, I would have to reboot the stream at this point. Boo. I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> oh, boo, 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 boo. I don't know use persuasion. All right, give me your roll. Plus this guy my... got an 18. That's a very good roll. So persuasion plus my wardrobe? You'll get a plus one for the hand. Just that wardrobe bonus that you get. Oh, Because he I likes see. K-pop. I'll give it to you towards this. Okay. <laughs> Matt's just fake rolling bullshit dice. None of it's working. Is that 18 It's not working. Got an 18? Yeah, would you like some bonuses? Yes. Yeah, yeah. I roll horrible. How, how bad did you roll here? I got a 14. Oof, I don't know if there's enough here. Do you got some luck? luck? Well, let's get you just a little more from Nessie. That'll give you a plus one. So we're just 15. Mm -hmm. I have to beat yours or beat it? You have to beat it. So I'll put down four luck. (laughs) There is another card. Um, Did you roll a one through a three? I did. There is a card called Better Than You, if you would like to re-roll that. Yes, please. All right, re-roll from KJ. I'm better than you. It's definitely the moment be going on right now. Be better by BB. <laughs> okay, BB, I rolled a one. Again? Oh. Not again. This I rolled a one. So roll again and minus that off your total. Four. He looks at you and leans in close. He goes, well, you smell like candy and look delicious. I have a feeling you are trying to do something that would be very bad for your health. Oh, like eat more candy? If it came in the shape of a bullet, yes. Should I trust you? I just wanted a new Hello Kitty gun, but okay, I'm sorry. I just... Wait, hold on. You just want a gun? Yeah, possibly. I just wanted to know how much it would be for like a Hello Kitty gun eventually. Jesus Christ, you scared the fuck out of me. I thought you were here for something totally different. Oh my God. Go over to the meat counter. I'll put in the code 6462. Jesus Christ. I just want to. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to scare you. Hey, no, it's okay. He puts his hand on his back. Oh, oh, no, no, that's not necessary. That's all right. You just 
you go buy yourself your small gun that you're interested in. Oh, I, not yet. I just want to see your, my options. The options change every day. That's not how it works here. Oh. Miss Rio, we have a we have a blue light special shopper. Huh? I'm checking out someone. You do it. Yurder, if you're interested, I can take you to the stand and show you what's available for the day. Okay. All right. And he walks by. I would like to know what String is doing the whole time as he's watching. <laughs> I was playing with the tampons in the corner, trying to pay attention to what they were doing. So it's like, uh, you are you like nervous pulling them apart? Ew. Okay. Okay, so while he... Uh, no, so while that's happening, uh, when they start walking away, I want to kind of follow behind. Okay. And then if I can get in contact with BB... I Absolutely, think... you guys are all on a call. Not a problem. <laughs> all right, BB, I think I'm going to make a play for the front desk lady. You think you can kind of lead me through the conversation? <laughs> um, I am the worst person to help with that, but okay. <laughs> well, then I'll do it on my own, then you can just listen. Kelly okay. was the one who said the seven eyes are used to look upon the beauty. That was not BB. That was BB. That was Kelly. That was BB. That was BB. You, know, you hop in if you hear something. That's hitting on women. I guess. Yeah, there we go. Anything that moves. <laughs> um, are you going for her then? I. W you said it's. It's, it's up. It's up too. here. Yeah, you have to buy something. It's like one minute. While they're all messing around with that, while, while he's figuring out what he wants to roll while he's muted, can I roll deduction to figure out what Shadi was flipping out about? Um, I mean, I don't know what you would deduce other than the guy is just well doesn't because, like something. Well, no, because we know that's a supermarket. We know that they're mm -hmm. selling guns here. We know that Maelstrom is jumping people. We know that he works for Maelstrom. So deduction is taking several clues and leaping to a non-obvious conclusion or medical diagnosis. And now I know because of the window is actually not a window. It's a mirror. Sure. In a hidden room. That's true. So that's why I was like, and this is a long shot and you can be like, roll and it's not going to matter. And that's fine. We'll see how it goes for you. Okay. I think you would roll. I mean, I, I don't know else. And so it's not a reach, but it's definitely not a lot of clues. Well, I rolled a 10. Here we go. It's Tuesday all over again, everybody. And so I got a 21. Do you, would you like a bonus card? Um, To bump it to like a 22, yeah. Yeah, sure, yeah. We can do that for you. Hold on, just a little more from yourself. Pay to win. <laughs> um, uh, Be better. And you want to know what he was talking <laughs> about. He, what you did see through her visual and through, I'm assuming, String is recording all the time unless he tells me he's not. Okay. Um, are you using your drone for it or your eye? I eye. Uh, you would notice that he keeps eyeing the back mirror. Okay. Um, and he also deliberately uh, stood in front at the end here when he was stocking. Like if I, let me put it on the map. Uh, he was down here stocking. He was standing here almost the entire time watching. He did move to the next row as she was shopping. And then he couldn't squeeze through the next one. So he just kind of stood at the corner. And that's okay. when she would have caught him and they would have been talking. Okay, so he's basically body blocking. Uh huh. The mirror. Okay. Yeah, he was. He was. Yes, very nervously making sure. And you want to go make a pass? <laughs> the front counter. Uh, there's a warning. You get like the 15 second clock. It's like 15, 14, 13, 12, Shit. 10, 9. Okay, okay I'm here. I'm eight. Not what are you buying? Tampons. I throw the tampons that are all open and scattered on the counter. Take these. Um, what did you do to the product? Why? Uh, Why? I'm buying it. Why would you do this? Just wanted to see if it was usable. Not usable. <laughs> well, now I mean I I like this brand. This is the one I prefer now. Yes, Sokums is a great brand, but you don't need to be. Oh, that's what that says. Oh, that's cute. Um, listen. You must buy that box. I'm buying the box. I'm and clean back. up your nest. What are you talking The The mess. There's a trail the behind counter. you. Look at all the wrappings. No, that's, that's not me. That's somebody else. There's only <laughs> a few of you in the store. I have cameras. And she taps the ceiling where a camera's at. How many cameras you got? It's like, there's like one camera. You at least 10. 
That's what she says. Okay. All right. That's a good number. All right. It fine. might be five. I'll, Who fucking knows? I'll pick up. Fine. I'll pick up. I'll pick up the merchandise. Fine. I, I go up there. And I, I bring it on the counter. There. It's all there. Good. Be- now. That will be that's ten handled. eddies and five for the mess. Oh my god! You're charging me for the mess. I don't work here. You do you- now. You Done. make a mess. You clean it up. Oh no, my god! Me? He's like, oh my god! You offer me a job? <laughs> Done. I'm high. Wait, no, no. What? I'll start now. No, you just, no. you just. That's a binding contract. I can't pay you. Okay, fine. Well, then here's what we're gonna do. You're Should going to pay. And you're going to leave store. I, I'll give her the fifteen eddies. All right. She takes and, fifteen eddies. And, and then I want to give her another hundred. Oh, like, is this bribery? Is it bribery time? Oh yes. Then you oh, need yes. to make a bribery. I I'll give you. I will give you a plus one for putting a hundo down, though. Hell yeah, you will. That is a lot um, of moolah for a person. What is this for? What are you paying me? This. I don't provide those services. This is not a massage parlor. This is a place where you buy food, drink, and maybe other things. Oh, for two hundred well. eddies. Is what she says when you throw the hundred down. I got another hundred, and I give it to her, and I was like, I would like the door the shut. Other <laughs> selection. It's just you two in the room. Oh, good, excellent. We're getting somewhere. When you look at the door and look back, there's a gun on the counter. Is it pointing at me? It's more like sitting between. Are you looking for catalog for Arasaka firearms? Yes, thank you. Take a look at this. I show her my arms. Can you find me something that could fit into my natural hand to make it thicker to match this? He, she grabs your arm you know? and like looks at it. She goes, "It's already got a shotgun in it." No, no, the other one. I oh, want the other one. And we'd I, have to. You would have to get it cut off. But I can get you an Arasaka male hand, not female hand. Like that. Oh, that would. Be Do awesome. you want two women's arms? Arasaka, we sell guns. No, yeah, I, I just want the merchandise that can go into the woman's arm that I'm going to get replaced. Oh, and you want an Arasaka my... implanted weapon? Yes, I we have that one. That would be awesome. We do. Maybe we have Arasaka like weapons a, here. Yes. A little bit of, little bit of armor, if you don't. No. You know what I mean? We you don't are, have any? No, you we have, have arms, any, like... no armor. No. All right, fine. Show me your arms. She goes, she like grabs a case and opens it and there's just weapons, like shotguns, pistols. Any, any writing on the case? Uh, no, it is, there's no writing. It's actually like the equivalent to a cardboard box like that roller skates would be in, like that old clamshell she opens up that's got foam in it. So I want to try something here. I don't know if I like that idea. How much for the case? All of it? Yeah. All of everything in here. Yeah. I would say... 5,000. I kind of want to peer in and look it over, kind of like lean the case towards me a little bit. Five k, five k. I forgot like, you guys didn't this... even look at the picture of Miss Rio, by the way. Let's look at Miss Rio. Here's Miss Rio. I'll bring it back so everybody can see it along with the audience. Oh, Miss Rio. <laughs> five thousand. That is a shotgun. Two heavy pistols. Um, the, okay. There is there is a <laughs> Scooby Doo replica gun. Holy shit! Huh? Okay, hold on. Now we're talking. How much for the smart replica ammo? Replica gun? One oh, smart shit. heavy pistol. Yeah. Well, it's it would work with your perfect lead. lady arm. You just need smart link. Okay, hear me out. Hear me out. I want to try to put this tracker that I have. This honing tracker, and I want to try to slide okay. it into the case. The box? Uh, yes. yes, you can absolutely try to do this. Uh, yeah, there is a to... skill for that. Yes, yes. It's conceal like objects. So I want to roll that skill that I just paid for. <laughs> Go ahead and try. Okay, I'm going to try. It's going to be a 16. Uh, did you roll a one through three? Would you, do you need to re-roll? Because if so, we do have no, a couple more better than you. I, I did not roll. Well, we can give you a... Do we have any more plus ones? Let's see here. I'm looking here. Just a little bit more from Nessie. We'll use that. I'm going to roll mine. I would have the audience roll. Not here. 
Are you happy with what you roll, or do you want to dump luck in? I'll dump a little. I'll dump one luck into it, make it 17. <clears throat> Makes it what? 17. Okay, I have a 15. She goes, I will. If you're not going to buy any of these, then she shuts the case after you slip the tracker. Oh. Okay. The cardboard, like, slams shut. Here's the deal. It's not about money. It's about me leaving with the supplies tonight. Now, it's still a little bit of daylight outside, and I would like to tr use my uh, cool... This is a one-time deal. One-time deal? Okay, well, I'm going to take it. But you I'm come back a thousand more. Six K? Yeah. How about this? If I come back for a thousand more, I also get your phone number. Listen, I'm gonna hit on this. Give so hard. me a. Are you trying to like, like interrogation? Get her number, or are you oh, mean absolutely. like hook up for fixer to get more shit in the future? There's oh, a I'm, difference. I'm She's on, trying I'm, to read the line am, right now. If you look at this photo right here, I am gonna hit on twenty-year-old Marissa Tomei <laughs> with cyberpunk. <laughs> trying to get her actual number. She's got a lot of right? cyberware, okay. man. Just like Marissa yeah. Tomei. Uh, <laughs> Still hot. <laughs> give, me your, give me your persuasion. Okay. Is it going to be, be per persuasion? Is it going to be conversation or is it... Is seducing is somebody persuasion in this game? What does it fall under? That is a fantastic I question. Like persuasion is... Rivalry. You can win almost any debate, convince your mainline that the blonde yeah, you were with your sister... You were a smooth talker. I would say that one. All right. We'll go with conversation. I'll, I'll allow Pilot it. air vehicle. For those of, by the way, if you want to blast from the past... That is... Day, this is our Drinks. my cyberpunk dragon skin from like the eighties when they came out. That were made yes. from chess X, the old dragon mm -hmm. skins. Yeah. Thirty-one. Anyway. A thirty-one? Yeah, I put a lot oh. of my stats in. I rolled a ten. It's not enough. All right. It's not enough. She goes. I'll see you tonight. I'll tell you what. Same price. You give me your number now. Ooh, excellent. Maybe I need a number. <laughs> uh, are you asking for a fake number right now? <laughs> yeah, can I? BB. <laughs> oh, give me Calvary's number. You have that. Wow. Oh, I do? If yeah. I have that, then I am totally giving Calvary's okay. number. Okay. As soon as you get it, you see, boop, 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 and she calls the number. Your phone doesn't ring. Mm -hmm. Calvary, your phone rings <laughs> as you're leaving the police station. Uh, yeah. Hello. Mm -hmm. Wrong number. And now she's pointing the gun at him. Click. Why are you pointing the gun at that me? That is not your phone number. All right, fine. Here's my phone number. Smart man. Less holes. Less. She doesn't answer. <laughs> okay. okay. See you in an hour. Extra All thousand right, for lying. Ah, I knew it. Okay. <laughs> you walk out. So outside is Rev shopping for guns. I'm shopping for guns. Like I want to look at the. Well, there's a lot of things that are available. I need a D6 roll from you for how many like rarer objects are on sale here right now. One. A one. Okay. If you give me a D10 roll. And you roll above a five, that sweet, sweet pink gun that you're looking for is on sale. Nine! <laughs> that sweet, sweet pink me. gun is on come sale on. right now. Now, for those of you who don't know what we're talking about, um, I'm gonna pull up Black Chrome. This is very important to her character. She wants, our first day of making oh. characters, she said she wanted this. Now this may never show up again. And I don't think she actually has enough money for it. How much? Well, we're gonna see, aren't we now? Uh, do you remember <laughs> the name of the gun? Cutie, uh, Tootie. Cutie, something cutie. Mm, well, you're gonna have to try harder than that. I'm gonna find a hit store. She's like, I'm looking right now. What is it? Where's it at? How much? Okay. I'm gonna put it on screen. I'm just waiting. It is. Uh, it is an Hello Cutie. It is an adorable, enough. adorable, <laughs> adorable gun. Um, mm. So here is the Sanru. Showing my picture though. Sanru Ultra K8. Yep. This is what she wants right now. The Sanru is a luxury item. 
It cost 5,000 eddies. I have 4,000. Which means what happens when friends go shopping together after going cyberware shopping together after being broke? You ask your friends for money. <laughs> is it on sale though, or is it just available? Yeah, it, it just says available. Sale. It just says boop and shows an image of it in your AR field. Behind it in the real world, oh, you're you looking at a cut that. of like a New York strip steak made from soy. <clears throat> Hold on. The handgun is what I want. Uh -huh. A thousand on the... It's the Assault Pistol San Sanru Hello Cutie Ultra Sorry, K8 no, Assault Pistol. No, I messed up. Sanru Hello Cutie Micro Cutie. Oh, I thought you wanted the real gun. You want the child's toy. Oh, no, no, no I want the real gun. The real gun is on page 118. It is 5,000 luxury. Like, uh, oh, I'm a really different. Yeah, I'm a different. It's the like, Ultra cutie. cutie and the Black Chrome. You are looking at the one from the original book, not the Chrome book, I'm assuming. It's in Black Chrome. If you didn't buy Black Chrome for the app, you don't have access to the Black I Chrome stuff. Black well, then you do have it. It's the Ultra K8 Assault Pistol. Yeah, that's the one I want. Yeah, that's eight. Yeah, that's it, that is a 5,000 piece. Oh. Uh, for those who wonder how good this gun is, it's 4D6, 3D6. 4D6 on shot, and it does 3D6. I think it's on Heavy SMG. And it does excellent. suppression fire. It has auto fire three. It is excellent quality. Can switch between very heavy yep. pistol and heavy SMG with an action. But that's auto not the best part. And suppressive fire. The, the best part is the single line here that says, can <laughs> can grant bonus a plus two to wardrobe and style does yes. anime sounds. Yes. But if user is wearing at least three pieces of Asia pop fashion. While that's wearing. me. <laughs> He go, and he's standing next to you and he sees you looking and he goes, it's a very nice gun. Huh. Oh. They're very rare. This is, uh, uh, oh, I want the audience to roll percentiles. <laughs> Someone roll percentiles in the audience. Just roll them. Roll physical dice if you have to. I'm so mad that the dice don't work. He goes, this was a very limited run. They only did uh, a couple hundred of these, like a thousand units, I think is all that was made. Oh. This is a very rare one. Most of them broke. We have a functioning one. Oh. Cute anime puppy eyes. It's oh, a functioning one. Makes it's very sense. nice. I only have 4,000 eddies. That's a shame, because this is going to be gone before the end of the day. Oh. I may not be good at talking to women. He is an amazing salesperson. This is number 21 of 1,000. Oh, and I like pay my agent. like. You just ping! Everybody's just a picture of her like this. <laughs> yes. So when I get pinged, I'm busy doing an interface roll to see if I can find <laughs> the net architecture architecture for the uh, um, RV. Uh, the RV does yeah. have its own signal. It is separate yeah. net architecture from the store, but it is uh, connected to the store somehow. There definitely is an interface between them. Um, pretty, I mean, this from the outside looking in, cause you're looking at the elevator doors, how they describe okay. it. Uh, there are two passcodes just for two of the floors, like immediately to get in. Okay. So you're looking at passcode, passcode before you even get into get in. anything. Um, while you're looking at that, she pings everybody. Is anyone bringing up money for her to buy her? As another person walks up and puts the 6462 code in, boom, and then yours says, one more looking at. Oh no. I say, oh no, exclamation mark, exclamation mark. You please. see like a, a 15 year old girl oh, no. with blue hair. No. Um, cut off fingerless Ozer. gloves with no. gems on them. No. Um, she's got a two headed unicorn animated shirt. And she looks at you and she goes, are you trying to buy this too? But I saw it first, so give me one second. Oh man, I I don't think so. I'll just send a thousand just to get this girl to shut up. Not Rev, the teenager. <laughs> she goes to click buy. I say like I send them I send the money. I'm like A you owe me B fuck that teenager. <laughs> oh you know what? This is the first time in history that I'm ever gonna have this. I need an initiative for you for who can hit the button faster. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Hey, it's you, Diane. Oh, it's me. Oh yeah. Yeah. yeah you're pushing the button. I'm not worried about her. She's busy. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I'm in. I'm in my. I'm She's like, holy fuck! I wasn't expecting to have to fight Where's this child. Stats? What do you mean? Reflex. His reflex. Nova, do Nova proud or get off the show. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna put luck. Yeah, I did. What did you get a total of? Yeah, yeah. We have it another better than you. Would you like to roll a better than you? <laughs> yeah. This show's turned into. Hello, kitty fucking again. Roll. It's not physically there, it's digital. All right. Okay, so So, that's hold done. on here. We we got you used the better than you, correct? <laughs> All right. All right. Hold on here. Hold on here. Let me, let me pull up our cards. So the better not than even fucking real. <laughs> in great. Has anyone ever tried to buy you. something had these moments? We're going to use KJ since she threw you the money. Um <laughs> Would you also no, like? No, would you no. also like a plus one? Would you like a, just a little more card for plus one? Okay, yeah, sure. okay so that's purple, a purple card, and a green card has been played. Um, do you have any? Uh, do you have anything you would like to use out of your luck pool left? Yeah, I, I have luck. Now, in a very selfish thing, I'm gonna say we do have a refill luck. card. Can you spend luck? Too? And refill luck I mean, we uh, is. Luck we the cards. Yeah, we, yeah, you can't get them back. I think we had a refill luck card. Maybe we don't. We might have used it already. I lied. It was already used. Damn. Used okay. last week. He used it last session. It's so, okay. how much He's... luck do you want to dump? I have two luck. So. What was your total? Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven. That's your, that's your total against this it's child. My I'm gonna go back to the table. I'm gonna roll it in the chat. She's got a plus seven. Why? I do too. I know you do. I have your character sheet. Ew. <laughs> so let me uh, get rid you of can't this. Say I didn't help. Nope. No. We're gonna do this. I know you helped. I'm gonna roll a d10. I have a plus seven. We're gonna see. I'm gonna roll right in the chat because obviously I can't use the dice roller. Give me that. You lucky what did I get? What'd son you get? of a bitch. I rolled a one. <laughs> <laughs> and then I rolled a three. So seven <laughs> becomes a six, five, <laughs> four, three. So she bad, goes to hit the button and Shoddy steps in and like puts his hand in the way of her to like hit the button. Like, sorry, ma'am. Somebody else was looking. As you hit the button. When you hit it, it goes bring, and it makes a whole bunch of cute anime sounds. And the wall goes and opens and this box of pink with an animated like character on the front of it. The photo is snapped of you and it is etched into the gun in front of you. It's on my gun. Okay. Your face as an anime character is on the gun. <laughs> so cute. You're welcome. I, I usually don't like to hug. interfere. You I hug him? Guy. This guy's gonna melt. <laughs> uh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. Rio, uh, are you good in there? Is like, dude comes walking out with a bag full of like torn up crap in it. Rio, are you, Miss Rio, are you good? He's like trying to walk away as you're hugging. Like he's so fucking nervous right now. <laughs> Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Little kid's like, I'll, I'll you. fucking remember this, you little shit. Okay, you're like 15. You look really cute. Yeah, I am 15. You look like you're 50, bitch. And she starts walking out the front of the store. Oh, burn! I, I make, oh, I burn! What, bitch? I'm like, make sure you remember her face. That bitch is going down. That's the first time that, like, my character's case. And this at is a, why I sent her the kid. money. That's <laughs> perfect. I just want to say... Enemy. <laughs> NPC. 15 year old. 15 years of age. Teenager. Hates. Rev. Who hates Rev. Yep, oh. yep, that's what I put. Uh, and Rev said, remember that bitch's face. <laughs> the most important thing is, as String is walking out, do you get it on video? Do you post it? 
You're muted. <laughs> I keep double tapping it. Uh, I, I said. <laughs> I send it to BB. I don't post it. You don't post it? Mm -mm. Oh, wow, gonna, you're I'm so hunt down kind. This 15, I'm going to hunt down this 15-year-old. <laughs> this is what happens when players get power in the game. They hunt down 15-year-olds that were trying to outbid somebody on a Hello Cutie gun. Um, yeah. I got to find my gun now. As that happens, it, it etches it, gives it to you. There's like an award that goes off. And you hear Rio going, did someone buy that stupid ugly pink gun? Um, oh, Shadi's like, yeah, ma'am, it's it's gone. She's super happy, though. You should be happy for her. And he walks into there, and the door shuts. So now no one is out here besides you, some people shopping, um, and BB in the car trying to decide how she wants to hack into this, but she gets delayed by this 15-year-old. I got a 24 library search on this 15-year-old. <laughs> uh, she is a yeah. famous... Uh, a set, I shouldn't say that. A regionally known... VTuber. Known VTuber. Ugh. Okay, okay. Uh, what's uh, her v content? Uh, what's her content? That's a good question. Uh, uh, I want the audience to roll hers. Uh, I will roll it. My table is a D10 table. And her uh, username is VBD? Uh, VBD, yep. Oh, no, no. V no, that's V brain, VTube brain dancers is what it stands oh, for. Okay, that's yeah, not yeah, her yeah, actual yeah. name, no. Uh, her name is Machine Gun Kitty. <laughs> She is a Hello Kitty fan as well. She usually wears black and pink. Uh, oh, and so are you going to say machine gun cutie? Kitty. To go, oh, kitty, so not to kitty. match the gun? No, not to match the gun. Kitty. Okay. Um, and she does live ammunition tests. Uh, and she is a full-sleeved 15-year-old Borg. Uh, live ammo wow. tests. Full-sleeve Borg. Jokes like she's 15. Maybe she's older, but everything you find online, she's like 15 years old. Um, Calvary, they're all yeah. doing their work here. I'm going to cut the supermarket. I know Kelly's going to hack into this place, but I'm going to save it for the next show because it's going to be Brutal. rough. Um, when the Maelstrom member steps out and sees your car parked there, his head like hangs. He takes a deep breath and he gets in the back seat. Hey, man. Hey, uh, got you out. Yeah, you did. You did. Mm -hmm. You got me out. Um, look, is your, uh, is your friend the, the, uh, Netrunner? Um, is there a way we could meet up so that her and I could share data? It will make this process a lot faster. Uh, yeah, let me just, uh, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll, um, there are 15 I'll, missed calls. I have 15 missed calls? All from the same number. Do I know the number? Nope. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? <clears throat> okay. Um, can we maybe meet up, talk to her somewhere, and I can yeah, share yeah. it, change I'll, the data? Uh, I'll, I'll, the blame, data. I'll blame BB uh, with the information, just saying, hey, uh, got him out. Uh, he wants to meet with you. BB, you're looking at this thing going, this is going to be a tough run. Mm -hmm. I hate to admit it, um, but yeah, I'm like, yeah, the um, internet architecture on this on this RV <coughs> is already it requires passwords just for the first two floors. Tell her, tell her I can get her the first password. I gotta meet her in person. Thanks. I know that's not normal for not runners, but like, we're gonna have to duel up on this. Mm, that's that's fine. Are you gonna drive to the supermarket? Um, I don't know if like I I say that's fine, but I don't know if we're gonna stay here much longer. Yeah, you, you just hear cheering. Even though you're on a solo call, her second mm -hmm. call, you are picking up the exuberant cheering of a rev in the background. <laughs> it's uh, uh, fucking panting like a dog. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, She's going. so excited. Yeah. Much, and I'm looking at it. Yeah, yeah I, w I wouldn't really listen, but it seems like good, 
good things happen that way. Uh, yeah. So, do you guys want to meet meet for meet at the diner again, or do we want somewhere else? Meet Anybody some. Hungry? Meet somewhere else that isn't associated with the diner and or the supermarket and or the the night market. That's true. Is okay. I'm thinking about right I now. Have more options for you that you would know about. I'm kind of doing like places that you know. There's an old factory area. You could go back to the 76 Club and just act like you belong. I don't know if that's a smart idea. Um, there's the border of Detroit. Uh, and I have a, pawn, a local pawn shop that's a good spot. Um, a nomad camp, which is your family's camp outside the night market. And I have a container town, which is where, like, there's not a lot of... There's not a lot of ears there. Fine. Uh, yeah, let's, uh, uh, yeah, I'll go through a scan and be like, uh, here, I'll, I'll ping her, like, uh, container town. Um, not a lot of, uh, happenings going on, uh, down around there right now. Uh, it'd be a good spot. I did a run down there not too long ago. Not too many people down around there. I mean, no one of value, I should say. That's probably, like, yeah. you know I mean? Not dealing with, like, corpos hanging out there and shit like that. Or cops, as a matter of fact. Yeah. It'd just be me. Just be you. Yeah, is that the plan uh, then? The container town? Is that where we're gonna go? I think that's probably our best bet. Okay. Um, um anything else before you leave the supermarket that you all want to do? Anything that the three that are on site want to do? No, I, I, do I know st that. String said he's coming back. <laughs> uh, I'd like to make a ping very similar to Rebs. Uh okay. for three thousand uh Eddies. Hey, I already I need wiped a... out my wallet to help. What? Her Why would you help her? I'm trying to get a date. Okay, here's the deal. Calvary, Phoebe, the oh, lady oh called, um, so we have her number. Sixteenth miss we... call. Is there any way we can trace her number to consistent numbers? So she's probably giving people the cue on where to go. Also, I have a ho I have a tracking device in the case itself. We can keep the tabs on if we want to find kind of suppliers and who's taking the supplies back and that kind of stuff. Catch them midway. Well, I mean that depends. I mean we know who the suppliers are. It's yeah, but we don't lungs. have a we don't have a weak link to get like in there and into the back. We could take whoever is is assaulting these guys and taking the supplies back to the store. We can catch them mid transit. Fuck them up, interrogate them, find the passwords, and get in there nice and swift. Instead of having Possibly. Like you might be she, able to do that, yeah. Hope. And if the cop gets... has this lady's number. Did they say they were a family? They, they did so, not say the I word thought, family. I thought they were like a, a some sort of family unit. I mean, hey. He did call her mom. He calls her mom. We have her number. He's about to get arrested for a countless number of charges. Uh, That's poor son I'm of assuming. A bitch. So she is primed to be blackmailed. Her son's about to go to jail. We got her number making consistent calls outside. We have <laughs> oh material God. here to use that we don't have to go in guns blazing. This is great. You all did a bunch of great stuff while I'm here. The word great is a very low case. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> very like, we don't have words pop up on screen. It's like real. Great, and it just kind of like shrinks <laughs> down. Well, I think Rev heard how many people were there uh, mm -hmm. that were employed in the store in mm -hmm. the front. We got her number. Mm -hmm. We got her. We got a tracking device. Yeah. In a, in a large case where somebody would totally take that case back. It's true. Uh, and meet at the location, not just get them outside the lot. Like, well, we I, I, have stuff here, guys. That's a good question. Then, what do you want the closing scene to be? Then, before we pick up in two weeks, do you want it to be? with the maelstrom you got out of prison and BB? Or do you want it to be meeting Rio by tracking the device or the person who buys the package at, at some point in time during the day? Is it picking up another maelstrom member? Is it setting them up to jump you all? How, what, what do you want that last scene to be? Because all of these are very viable ways to handle this. Because if you can get a hold of one, you might be able to get the passcodes, which would make BB's job a fuck ton easier. Right now, she gets one and a hacker to help. She has another net runner that can help add some extra um, actions into dual net running this this problem. Or you can try to hijack one of these people and you know purchase something and have them jump you. Because technically, right now, 
someone bought something from it and there's a good chance you're going to get jumped that's what I, I mean do we just want to wait for someone to buy something and then have them get jumped and then we already had a half it someone already bought something for five thousand dollars oh i'm about to get jumped yeah well i'm bait <laughs> is 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 rev bait i guess rev could be bait as as she's like heading to the car or whatever because they mm -hmm. don't know that she's got someone else in the car no one has any idea yeah all right well diana and I also i want to protect my investment because i just gave her a thousand dollars to buy this thing <laughs> so you walk out with this beautiful gun and the box collapses and folds down flat so you can put it in your house and you know store it and it comes with its own 3D printed beautiful holster to go with you that has little trinket areas as well, similar to your glove. Nice. Or your hand, I should say. When you get to the old beat up family van to meet them at the container area, which Calvary is already on the way there with the Maelstrom Ganger that you guys framed, that you're unframed and are reframing someone else, but another Maelstrom member. So. You know, wrong maelstrom. They all look the same, right? Lots of eyes. Um, he's got seven. That means he's done right. at least seven more so times. So that means that <laughs> that Rev is going to the car. BB's in the car. String is walking out with Rev. String, are you riding with them in the van to go to the container houses down by the river? Yeah, yeah, I would have rode with them in. So yeah. Okay. All right. So you all get in the van. Start it up, takes two times to turn it over to get it to run. The Chew 2 well, goes through the car. I would be scanning for people with neural parts. They're the all over car. the fucking place. There's well, neural parts like all any, over the parking lot. All anything over the street. Like coming towards us. Uh, it doesn't, I mean, you know there's people it's around 50 you. 50 meters. So. I know, but there's a lot yeah. of them in 50 meters. Okay. Like, you can't, it's not like it's villain pops up in AR. No, but I'm just saying like anyone who's like- Within within you know 50 I mean. foot of the cars you're leaving, there's probably about 10 people either getting in cars, getting out, walking down the street, shit like that. As you're making eye contact with people, that's the real way you kind of hack mm -hmm. somebody. You just gotta be able to see them. Mm -hmm. uh, someone comes and knocks on your door in the parking lot, like on the window, wraps on it. It's definitely a maelstrom. I also have my gun ready. Okay. So you have your gun ready in the back seat. Like, Does anyone so else I have came, a gun out? When I came here, like I've got like my yep, helmet, my I've got my jacket, yep. I've got my gun. Yeah, you look like the person in the back of the car is absolutely doing something wrong. Absolutely. Yes. Right. String, do you have a gun out? Just my shotgun hand. In your hand? Okay, so you have it open and ready and kind of sitting in your lap, like ready to go. Uh, and they knock on her window and then someone knocks on the passenger's window. I right, roll down. Rio is in the passenger window. Shoddy is on the other side. Ooh, double date. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. Look, uh, talk to mom and we always wanted to be as transparent as we can with you. Um, one, thank you for the purchase. The shop is, always needs help. But there, there are people who are gonna ask for it from you, even you're gonna lose the money. And I would recommend not fighting back. It isn't us. And she's like, nope, it isn't me. Hi, cutie. And like says that to String. He's uh, like, uh, we are under the gun to do what they say. She goes, yep, they own part of the shop. Uh, they let me sell my wares out of the front, but they sell everything else. Uh, they've been stealing it back and going and selling it elsewhere. We, we're, we're losing a lot and they make us pay them. There's a total racket. Who are they and where do they come for deliveries to? No, 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 no. Iron Lung do all the sale here. They're very friendly people. They take care of us, but they had, they, they, the security guard they sent us is a piece of shit. He's a horrible security guard. Bad at it. And some fat tubby man who can't even run. You got names for these two? Oh, for who? The security guard. Oh, yeah. He, yeah. His name is Leo Stinger. Run. He's just lazy. Can't run. Never would make it. You tell him to get milk, he would come back winded. That's a good line. Um, I lean over, I look over at BB, see if she got the name. You know, see if she's I, I did, I sent you guys everything. Yeah, you already had Leo Stinger on the list. Security, yep. overall clean record. Oh, we did, clean record. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. She goes- Maybe the clean record is because he's lazy and bad at his job. But we, we are being pinched. They are making us pay them when people <laughs> buy stuff. No, the lung we paid every month, we paid them 2000 to protect the shop. 
Now we're paying these people 8,000. We only make 10 a month. So maybe you should find some new people to help you protect. Oh, yes, because they're a dime a dozen. I'm like sitting in the back like why are we having this conversation? Look, I'm like... <laughs> you be safe when you leave. Drive fast. Do not stop for anyone. Shoddy's like, actually, I was going to say if you want my shifts over, I could ride in the car with you in case anything hostile happens to kind of help. That is a great idea, and I would like to hop into the back seat with BB and give up my spot. I thought I had to roll down the back passenger side seat. So okay, so excuse me, you've never been in a minivan. Down. Those don't roll down. Oh, I'm sorry. I'd like to open up the door. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he goes, uh, if that's okay with you, uh, it could help. Maybe they would leave you alone if I'm in the car. Now, okay. your plan was to get jumped. If you bring him and you do this, there's a chance they would just leave you alone. If we bring him, we'll just leave us alone. They may because they're, they don't want to lose their money. Right. I can't do this all the time. You made a big purchase today and you were very nice to us. And she's like, yes, yes, nice to us. I mean, I complimented you and I really like you. Uh -huh. I have to go back to work. You decide what okay. you need. Remember, you have four hours and you're back in the shop. And she goes back in. I look at Spicy. four hours. Can I have a day? Huh? No, I only get four hours off a day. I work six days a week. I get one day off a week when the store is closed. Uh -huh. I get to sleep for four hours and back in here working. It makes it real hard to be in the maelstrom, so I've kind of dipped out of that. These you guys are getting this guy framed and fucking put in jail. Oh my god. Okay. Should I ride with you all? Do you mind? He leans in and he goes, Oh, hey, I didn't know there was another one. He like waves at BB in all black with a hoodie and a cap out of it, and she's just fucking hiding in the back. Yeah, come on in. Your friend's all. I just say yo. She's kind of a creeper. So this six foot eight guy gets in and sits in the van and it. <laughs> oh motherfucker, my knees! Ow! I picked sorry, it up. sorry. He scoots up. Where are we going? Uh, where's you? Uh, are, you could drop me off wherever. I'll get a ride back. I'll call my car. But like, I'd say get a couple miles from here, okay? I was gonna say just drive until they come towards me. Well, just yeah. drive to wherever you need to go. You should be good if I, I'll wave out the window or if they see me. Where am I going? Are you going to go to the container place? Are you taking them all the way there? Are you going to go like halfway and drop them off somewhere? What's the plan? I don't I don't know about the container place unless you guys put it in our agent. Yeah, everybody would know that. I'm assuming yeah, you're we in a group call going, for that kind of stuff. Yeah. In our group call, we were talking about going to the container place and then you getting jumped. And now instead, we've got someone who's going to prevent us from being jumped potentially. Great, then I'll start driving towards the container place. Are we gonna try and find a place on the way to the container place for us to pull over? Well, yeah, because we're gonna get jumped. So can I get perceptions no. from the group while driving? <coughs> As you so plug I, in. I send, I send like a message to um, Rev, like maybe somewhere um, like a like a fast food joint or a chum fuel station, just like, and then we can just say that this antisocial BB is like needing food or whatever. <laughs> sure. yeah, she's she's hangry. At, like, a I'm hangry. Gas station with like a quick mart at it. Yeah, sure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I do need perceptions though for the drive. Oh, the human. Not human, regular, visual regular perception. perception. Oh. Visual perception. There you so are. So if you have like cyber eyes and like that, it will apply to this as well. <laughs> do do you need one from? Me? I oh, no, probably actually do me. need do you? one for you. Yes. Okay. I have a twelve. I didn't roll great. Okay. Um, am I supposed to roll or no? Because yep, we're in the back. Absolutely. Okay. No, no, you can still look out the car windows. I mean, you can see. Yeah. Them. All right. Let me take a look. <laughs> now your dad said, remember, and I quote, "Well, not your dad." Din said, "Don't get in combat, my car." Mm -hmm. It's your mom's van. Those are the famous last words that played through. But we're not. We're not I got a 20. 20 is good. I would like to roll a better than you. All right. We'll do a better than you from you to you. Okay. okay. Thank you, me. Yep. You're welcome. Thank you. you past me. Do we have any more of those better that than yous? From her? We better do than have you. more better than yous. Do you need one as well? Yes, please. We'll use serving hands 20. for you. I got 21. Would anyone like um, any extra little more? Just a little more for a plus one? We have five of those left. If anyone wants just a little more. 
I'll just be making simple conversations. Yeah, you're so just talking to him. Car. I'll take one more. Just I'll take just a little more to put me to a twenty-two. Okay. And uh, what about perception. what about you, Calvary? Do you want one? Yeah, I'll spend one and okay. then two luck to take me to a sixteen. Okay, so that's just a little more from serving hands for Calvary, and then just a little more from Kelly to future Kelly for Kelly. Yes. Yes. Okay. <laughs> as <laughs> With you a message set up, from past Kelly saying be better. As long as you got <laughs> above an eighteen, you see two motorcycles trailing behind you with Maelstrom gangers on them. Okay. They're about two car lengths away. They follow, they stop, they keep their distance, right? The big guy, who is so enamored with talking to Rev, does not notice it. I got a five. I rolled a one and then a ten. Wow. He is just, as many eyes as he has, they're all trained on one person. Mm-hmm. Calvary, you're already there. The other guy's in the back seat, and he goes, look, man. <clears throat> yeah, I got to say I'm sorry, man. Sorry. Right? Sorry about, sorry about what? Look, uh, it was a trap. I don't have any problems with you. You, you did arrest the right person without knowing. Capacity 80 gigabytes. You hear the. I was trying to be nice. Man. You hear the. of a shotgun in the back seat. Can you just put all your weapons on the passenger seat? Look, man, I don't mean this, I don't hard feelings, but I was definitely at that night market looking for him to set this stuff up. And just, you weren't supposed to do this. Like, sorry. You ain't a bad guy. The singing is ridiculous, but you're not a bad guy. Hey, I, I, I've tried to tell that guy before, whoever, whoever he is. Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, I pull out. I pull out my pistol. I've got it like on my side. Uh huh. You actually see that in the passenger seat. So you uh, set it in the passenger my, seat. Uh, my rifle too. So I got both of those sitting there. Okay. You put all your weapons over there. Just the yeah. It's the two that I got. Can you step out of the car? You see some people in the container area watching. They are not part of this. They're just people seeing what's going on. And he gets, he's like, can you open the door for me too, please? Don't run. Look. And you open it up, the and the door opens. He gets out the shotgun, and he has his hand uh, trained on you. And he goes, so we'll make this really easy. We're going to walk to one of the containers that are empty. We're just going to kind of end this nice and quiet, all right? Yeah, no, that sounds good. Said this way. And he, like, points to, like, one of the empty containers and starts walking that way. No one else is here but you and him. The camera slides back through the city to the two motorcycle gangers at the next stoplight. As you're getting ready to, like, pull off to get food, they pull up behind. Um, you can see they're watching. They don't have guns out or anything like that, but they're definitely following the car. They're younger, at least that it looks like. Uh, finally shoddy season when they pull up really close. He's like, oh, we're being tailed. Look, yeah, if you we... pull over, I'll just get out and talk to him and see what I can do for you. Okay. Uh, just yeah. hit the gas station up here on the corner, the chew station. I'll go to the gas station. You pull up, he gets out. When he gets out, though anyone who got above the 18 immediately watches people. They start to pull out guns to full auto him when he gets out of the car. Full auto him? Yep. Anyone who made the save gets to have one action before these guys get to go as you can see it. Like it's that edge runner instinct. Like he gets out, like something's wrong. He's like, hey guys, these are not your marks. And he's like, he's like, yeah, you are. And they pull out and start getting ready to shoot this guy down. I want to throw my last sleep grenade. Okay, you pull a sleep grenade out and tuck it out the window. Okay. Anything BB's gonna do for an opening salvo? Um. You've been following them. I'll tell you, they both have ice on them. They have self ice on them, just so you know. Okay. Um, They both have a single self ice. Then.
if they were following us, I would have tried to hack it on the way. I would give you free if hack on one them. of them. Yeah, absolutely. On one of them. Yeah, I'm not yeah. going to try and get both of them, but. I mean, if you want to roll for both, you can, but there's that chance you fail, then they know, and this scene will mm -hmm. change dramatically. Because mm -hmm. they're going to hose the back of the car, if that's the case. Because right. someone's hacking you, the answer is shoot the person you can't see. Um, I don't know if they're ices, but I got a nine. Okay. Uh, you doing it to both or just to one? Are you use... Just to one. Okay, so you, you hack into one. Uh, it's a pose rolls and just see if I notice, correct? Yeah. Yeah, a 10? It's pretty good for him. Let's see. Zap all three, Star Drew says. Zap them all. Um, I got a 10. Is there a better than you or not better than what? you? Just one more. Just a little more? Yeah, you gave yourself yeah. another just one you from KJ yeah. to KJ with love. Yes, future, future me. So 11. Yep. All right. That's one above. He doesn't notice. So you have access okay. to one of them. Um, okay. Is there anything that uh, Rev wants to do? Seeing this is the big guy gets out of the passenger seat next to you. It's like, hey, guys, the one pretty kind of has a hand. Very non-aggressive, big dude. And you see in the rear view mirror, because you're plugged into your car, you see one pulling out an SMG. And the other one is turning as a grenade goes. Well, if I see the grenade, then I'm not going to do anything, but I'll have my gun at the ready. Okay. So just got on the ready. You're not doing anything. Okay. Well, with that, I only want initiative to start. I need to know if this grenade lands and goes off before I get to go. So I need initiative between you and me because I could change the whole scene because none of them have anything to stop them from this fucking their life up. But oh, okay. I got a 15. That's a good roll. What do I add for that? It's, it's your reflex. Unless your solo solos can add more stuff to it, but you're not. You got a 15. Yep. I just rolled a 10. <gasps> Roll again. That. Yeah. That's a five plus my five. So a 20. Uh, 20. The grenade lands at his feet and he looks down and he's like, motherfucker. As it goes off, what is my save for sneak It's a gas? <laughs> I think it's DV uh, resist torture 13. First guy who's in front, it doesn't hit you. The guy that hits the feet. He hits the car and slides down the car. Yes. I rolled a one and I rolled a six. The other guy sees it, gets his arm up and gets ready to spray. As the bullets start to go off, we will begin our next session in the middle of combat with two of these gangers. And the last scene is Adam's character, Calvary, getting walked into a storage crate. Nobody's in there. He's like, all right, I don't want to look at you, man. Just knees and hands behind the head. Um, <clears throat> when I... When Is there I any family members I should pay some money out to? <clears throat> uh, no, no, no family. There's I, this guy named Stream. That, can I do a... Um, I want to try to sneak uh, something into my, my front armor. Yeah, I need a conceal to do that. Try to grab something. If I can. It has to be concealable. Yes. It, it, Is this guy going to get knifed to death like the other guy did? <laughs> uh, Maybe. He is not. <laughs> um... So where's my perception? Got a plus eight on mine. That's pretty good. I got Whoa, 15. Let's go. Hell yeah. You know what? I was going to spit. Frank House, I was going to spend some luck on this. Don't even use it. But huh? with everything added together, with the 10, uh -huh. gives me... My God, be. Jordan. All right, yeah, that's our baby. show for the night, everybody. A 23, what do you pull from your vest? What does the camera see as you turn so, around? So as he does it, as he reaches into his vest, it looks like he's slipping on uh, like some brass knuckles and he pulls them out and they start to spark. You have spark knuckles? Uh, I have. What the three. fuck is that? I have <laughs> Faisal's Magna knuckles. What's that? We'll find out next episode. Yep. Don't ruin it. <laughs> Thank you, everybody, for joining us tonight. It's wonderful to be back. Our overlays worked. Obviously, Stream Elements is being a little bit of a bitch, but that's an easy fix. It'll be fixed for our show tomorrow. But does anyone have any special shows over the next two weeks? We'll be back with the Thontia tomorrow, but does anybody else have any things? Is there any wrestling maniac crazy stuff going on in Matt's world, or are you just going to play Every... sick in bed? Every Saturday for the rest of my life. Oh. <laughs>
mpxwrestling.com. You can go and support the wrestling show that I run. I also teach the students there that uh, basically do their lab work on Saturday. And on March 16th, we're having a huge show at the Epic. If you want to watch live, it's at mpxwrestling.com. You can get tickets. If you want to watch it on the stream, I need to sell a bunch more tickets, but eventually I'll be putting it on Twitch. Twitch.tv backslash Metroplex Wrestling. That's and as, and you can watch this on Twitch as well. So are they going to be able to you interact in any way? T- you get to do any fun stuff? You can. You can interact. But uh, I don't plan on airing the big Destiny show March t- uh, 16th on Twitch unless I sell out. If I sell out, I'll be making an announcement. Sell so out. Stay tuned. Sell yeah, out. Stay tuned. Sell out. Sell out. You have to give me the ads. I'll run them at the beginning of the show because it'd be hilarious to run his ads for the oh, show. Yeah. yeah, I'll fucking oh, yeah. run them. Give me whatever you got. I'll run some crazy shit. Uh, does anyone else have any other shows? Uh, is there any more uh, Bulba Crisis on Infinite Earth or whatever the name for the show was? <laughs> no, not yet. Our finale is supposed to be yesterday, but that, that's put on hold. So ah. possibly in two weeks. I'm not sure yet. So I don't. I can't. But you'll be at Emerald City. I will. If anyone's in Seattle for Emerald City Comic Con, I will be there working for Norse Foundry. Come on. Say hi. Well, that's going to be fun. Um, yeah. That's it for me. Wave bye, everybody, as I do our closeout. Night, friend. Bye, bye, friend. Everyone. See you on bye, two bye, weeks. Everyone. Everybody, thank you for joining us today. We had a half-sick cast. We still powered through it because that's what we do here on EFP. And my hangover is finally gone. But hey, that's not the story here. Uh, over on this side, there's going to be something for you. Click. I think it's probably going to be for... Probably a Thontia. My guess would be a Thontia. And then, other than that, we're going to be back tomorrow at 8 p.m. CST for another wonderful episode of Thontia Superstitions. They are in episode 9 already. And this one is going to be a doozy. Have a great night, everybody. And remember, turn it up to 11. Bye. Let me end this. I got to fix a...